hello, hello. Tengo como un estornudo. Ah. Um, hello. Hello, <laughs> Daniel Ira. Uh, how are you, Kakiro? Good, good, very good, thank you. Okay. Um, our afternoon sessions again. Yes. Yeah, we're going to paint today. Uh, I think this would be the third Tom Croft, if I'm not mistaken. Mm, I think I, maybe. I, yeah, I did a Tom Croft in on Yupo, if I'm not misremembering this, but um, painted a Tom Croft on Yupo in our um, Zorn palette, but instead of red, cad red, we used uh, Terra Rosa, so Earth Red. There was an Earth Red week. Uh, and I painted another Tom when we went that week that we painted with um, uh, five colors, then four colors, then three colors. Yep. Yeah. So um, I love that you're saying I painted a Tom a as Tom. if there were a lot of Tom. Crops well, it's like multiverse, yeah. multiverse of, of Tom. <laughs> Uh, I even You're thought creating about creating a new uh, line with this one. Yeah, I even thought about making him like Mephisto, Mephisto, which mm -hmm. they've, you know, I I don't know if Marvel just likes that people talk about Mephisto, but has no plans on having him be part of um, the MCU. But so I was gonna give him one of those like um, collars, like Looks high like collars, vampire like. Yeah, it's very vampire like yeah. Mephisto actually. So so he has one of those collars, and I was gonna paint them all red. Um, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I I think it would be cool. He could make like a pretty cool, uh, Mephisto with with somewhat kind of twirling mustache into beard. Mephisto canonically doesn't have a beard, but um, he has like a kind of like a swirling, you know, set like head of hair that could look like a flame or something. Um, but yeah, I thought about that, but uh, no, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna that's do for that. Another Tom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For another Tom. Another day, another Tom. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, no, we're going to do regular Tom. Well, regular Tom. I don't think I've ever painted Tom and not taken chances while painting Tom. I'm saying Tom, and people should uh, check out Tom's uh, work. He's a wonderful um, painter, Tom Croft. Um, uh, he's, he's incredibly nice, uh, albeit a Spurs fan. So, um, uh, but... Uh, I always, I always love um, when I have the opportunity to paint him, and um, and I was just looking through some pictures, and he even sent me. Th this is not one of them, but he even sent me some pictures, and he asked me to to do a painting from those. So I still owe him one of those, you know, a painting from one of those pictures. Um, they're really cool. They have like a like a ray of. Um, of sunlight kind of filtering. So it's really nice. It just cuts through his face really nicely. Uh, but no, th this is going to be just uh, more of a pushing, uh, particularly the contour of of Tom and just, you know, having fun with curves against, you know, straight lines and just trying to, through geometry, to emphasize a a natural gesture, I feel. I tip this head a little bit more than what I have in the reference. Um, kind of shifted some of the um, some of the shapes from the axis because I I like doing that. Made the features a little bit bigger for the contour because I also like doing that. So um, a lot of things that I that I like. I was I was you know before we started I was I was gonna see if I could um, simplify it even more by uh, getting rid of all of these, you know, little changes in the uh, contour. And I thought about um, about just making that like one big straight line. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it works. I don't know if it works. 
But uh, but it could be cool. I think it could be cool. Yeah. A little. I I think I need some of the hair. So, I would, you know, I I I actually think I need the hair. So that's the only thing that's stopping me from, because I love the the fact that the temple goes down to the cheekbone, and it actually connects with the tangent of the um, of the ear, and then the ear just kind of curves behind. But um, but I love that this moment was just all kind of straight. Uh, but then up here with the forehead, it does kind of go out, so that we can kind of keep the um, almost like the skull from we don't keep the skull from turning. And I think that if I do this, like the skull would just feel like it has to stop suddenly. So I don't know. I'll you know the easiest thing to do is to start painting. And to then see if that's something that we can eventually make work. And if not, this is still pretty cool, I feel. So so I don't think it's gonna be a sacrifice if we don't if we don't do that. But um yeah, let's see. I was I was also because I, I like the drawing. I I for a second I thought of emphasizing features, because many times you just need to um emphasize like a little bit of the features um just so that you have enough of those marks down there for example the uh, plane of the nose that's actually turning and that nice kind of terminator shadow under plane of the nose little cast shadows like triangles there same with the mouth um mouth kind of turning in kind of inwards and and you know giving us that really nice plane of shadow same with the corners of the mouth, the way they kind of curl also inside, and we have that beautiful kind of tone there that's surrounding it. Um, I thought about just just marking those just to give myself like um, enough of, of a guideline so I don't lose uh, some of my drawing. But then I thought, well, I actually also want to push shapes. So the the weird thing about having like a nice you know, sort of, um, let's call it definitive drawing as the one that we have here, because we could follow this, you know, quite faithfully, and it would still be fine. But what I what I fear is that I is that if I begin to follow this, you know, faithfully, I can I think I could make like a nice painting because I think I've got enough down here so that I can assure myself the execution of like a nice portrait, but I would be less willing to take chances. So um so that's so I guess that's the um you know that's the other other side of that coin that's actually you know y you you have to choose if it's important to you or if it's not. Um so what I think I'm going to do is actually just kind of paint paint on top of it, you know, um not covering everything up opaquely but just I, I need to paint uh, on top of it and um, just so that I, I kind of liberate myself a little bit from this drawing and then you know whatever happens happens but um, I feel much more comfortable that way I, I think um, so yeah let's uh, let's uh, let's do that I'm gonna start with kind of like massing in my lights in a way so uh, I'll I'll do that and is this black? I think so. I'll do that but because if I if I start to um if I go for my um my shadow mass or these little, you know, bits that are like really nice kind of shapes of shadow mass, I think they're going to be a little too specific and I think they would condition me a little too much. So I I'm still going to get to those, but I just want to do it in a way that it feels fresh I guess and and I have a feeling that if I don't cover it up um, I will I will begin to be a little afraid of my drawing instead of just being inspired by my drawing I don't know if that makes sense but uh, let's do that I can still kind of see my drawing underneath there so it's not a bad, it's not a terrible thing. 
How are you, Daniel Lira? Good, good. I was waiting. Yeah, you awake? I, no, no. <laughs> Fall asleep uh, no, with the uh, pink know. talk? I just never know if you're going to say something else. Yeah, good so morning. So I just politely uh, mm, pause fall asleep. until you uh, give yeah. me the word. So no, I can no you, can, you could butt in. No, 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 because sometimes I think you're done and you're just like pausing. For to, effect, yeah. To uh, think and then talk again. So we just... Yeah. You never know yeah. with me. You never yeah. know. You be guessing. Sometimes you start a phrase and... Never finish it. Exactly. So, uh, just waiting. It's a waiting game with you. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, uh, Marcelo Peralta. Marcelo. Saying, hi, Chilean chat. Hi, Danny and Nico. Got he here on the, time uh, today. He loves the uh, Chilean chat thing. I mean, priorities. Yeah. Chile, chat. Yeah. And I then mean, Danny and Nico. I'm no, like, right? No, no, no. <laughs> no, he's, he knows what he's doing. Um... And Marcelo was saying, got here on time today. Yay. Yes. Eh, Carlos Taylor dice, buenos días. Carlos. Hola, Carlos. Buenos días. Bu que dice, buenos días. Buenas tardes. Tardes. Car Carlos, muy amable, le, le gustó la, la pintura del durazno. Muy querido, Carlos. Muchas gracias. Eh... Josra Bandarian was mm -hmm. saying hi. Hey, Josra. I don't know if I'm uh, butchering your name. Maybe you can let let us know. Uh, butchering, but butchering. Yeah. Butchering, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Cody Winicky was saying, hey, caught me on my lunch break so I can hang for a little bit. Okay. Hey, Cody. How are you? What are you having for lunch? Ricard was saying, hello, OPL and chat. Cool drawing. Oh, it's gone now. <laughs> it's gone. It was good while it lasted. Let's say that. Miriam Diaz, mm. alias La Choli Bean, dice, hola, Dani, Coco ah, bueno. y Chili. Ah. Un abrazo. Ah, hola, bueno. Milolis, qué seriedad. Te mandamos un abracito, Milolis, y te queremos mucho. Pensé que era hola, pensé que iba a ser solo hola Dani. Hola Dani. Chao Nicolás. No, uh -huh. sobre todo mi mamá. Es ay coquito. Ay. Eh, Saint Gales dice, hola, por fin llegó a tiempo un directo. Hola Saint Gales, ¿qué tal? Cody Winnie was saying, hey Marcelo, good to see you. Catherine was saying, hi Dani and Nicolás, Chile and all, OPL. Marcelo saying, Cody, thanks. I've been missing a lot of lives lately. Yeah, we noticed. <laughs> Catherine was saying, hi, Marcelo. Hi, Cody. Marcelo was saying, hi, Catherine. Okay. Cody was saying, hi, Catherine. How's it going? Oh, my God. You don't have to do the, <laughs> the whole... Mi amor, termina las frases. The whole what? The whole thing. You see, yeah. you don't end your um, your ideas. You just yeah. let them, like, float around. Yeah, but you don't have to narrate, like, all the exchanges. Well, I, I can. I know that's your thing. So I will. Okay. <laughs> yeah. St. Gales dice, veo que has expandido la paleta aún más. No, St. Gales. O sea, tienes más cosas ahí, pero no tengo porque las... Tengo fósiles. Tengo mm. fósiles ahí. Pero, pero no. no porque las esté usando. No, no, no. Son, es un engaño. Es un espejismo. Jeff Ávila was saying... Solo para los likes. Jeff, ¿qué tiene que ver el like? Para ya? nada. Jeff Ávila was saying... Jeff. Al already, and in all caps, so super cool. Oh, Jeff, I, I painted over everything, so <laughs> now uh, now it's gone. Yeah. Jeff commented, I take it back. Yeah, I no, know. I'm joking, I'm joking. Um... Catherine was saying, Cody, fine, thank you. Hope you're okay, too. I'm busy painting alongside. You know what? People should just have, like, conversations. Like, regular conversations. Do as you, if you remember just, the conversation? As if you just met somebody at the grocery store or something. Like, Do you oh, remember that I once I was, like, oh, reading... Your mother. I was reading a conversation. Yeah. Like yeah, a with the voice. Exchange. With voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You love yeah. that. What happened to that? Uh, you know Nicolas that one who time. Who loved the... My voice narrating someone else's conversation. That one time. Yeah. One time. Ricard was Super saying. Super interesting. 
Ricard was saying, What? Nico is a true magician. The drawing disappeared. <laughs> yeah. And with it, my confidence. Camila Ogorman Ogerman. was saying, hi, is that Tom Croft? Uh, it was a second ago. It is. Yes, it is. As no, you were saying, like it is a, a Tom Croft. Yeah, no, it's just the uh, multiverse Tom's, of uh, painting. The shadow. Tom El Blob. Eleazar dice, hola, buenas tardes. Hola, Eleazar, ¿qué tal? Nahuel Tribulo dice, hola, chicos. Hola, Nahuel. Nahuel cambió la imagen de, de acá, de como el iconito que sale. Sí. Sí, Nahuel. Sí. <laughs> Robin Sita West 13 was Robin saying, Sita. hello, Nico, Danny, and Chad. How are hello, you, Robin, Robin Sita. Sita. What are you doing today, Robin Sita? Dana was saying, hello, everyone. Hey, Dana. Rosaline Dion was saying, hello, friends. Uh, hello, Rosaline, Rosaline Dion. Rosaline Sita. Uh, how's the Spanish class going? It's going, it's going. How are your R's rolling? Re mal. <laughs> Giselle dice, hola, está hermosa la pintura del durazno. Oh, gracias. Uy, no. Cody was saying, leftover lasagna and salad. Ha -ha. Oh, sounds very good. good. Lasagna good. always sounds good. I love lasagna. And what's leftover the... lasagna, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, I what's actually the... love pasta that you reheat. What's the lasagna uh, flavor? Flavor? ¿Cómo se dice? What's the... Recipe of the lasagna? Is okay. it a chicken lasagna, veggie lasagna, a beef lasagna? Mm. Keep going. Just cheese lasagna? Keep going. Mm. Lasagna, lasagna. Mm, lasagna cadaver. Ooh. What is it? Art Details was saying hello, everyone. Hey, Art Details, how are you? So after you finish the leftover lasagna, mm -hmm. do you get a lasagna cadaver? Well, that's uh, that was the painting that we yeah. did. Thank you for uh, said, remembering. Uh, he... That was literally the painting. It's you with the lasagna tray. I know. And I called it lasagna cadaver. But it was also like the the tin was like super, like smashed. I remember in the side. So I know, but it was because it like was like a left crime, a lasagna just... crime. Nesrin Amin was saying hi both. Looking forward to this Tom Croft painting. I'm a fan of his portraits too. Yeah, he's very We are cool. too. Yeah. Alice V was saying hello. I don't watch the lives often, so don't know if it's been asked before. Oh, any anything you want to ask. But would you consider yes. starting a Discord? Yes. Nicolas. I'm sorry. Would you consider starting a Discord server? That would be awesome. Well, there is a Discord server, but we... With people from OPO. Yes, but we don't manage it. That is the truth. So it's more of a OPL uh, Discord server. But yeah, we, we wish we could uh, tell you that uh, we would be there consistently. But just because work and, you know, life... Um, it's a little more difficult to keep up with the, um, with the Discord servers. I even had like, for the courses that I was doing, I, I set up, um, uh, two servers, once for each course and woof, it's a lot of work. I mean, it is like a job in and of itself to keep up with like a, a, a Discord server. So yeah. So if, if I have to be very honest, it's, um, it's super, super cool that there's, you know, a community that wants to do that. Um, but, but, uh, it's a little difficult for us to keep up with it. I hope that doesn't sound bad. It's, no, it's no, just no. being like super the thing honest is that about it. We, when we get involved with something, we want to be all in yeah, or not in at all. And I think that we know that we don't have, like we would not be there as much as we would want to. So that's why yeah. we haven't, Done one. Yeah, usually, so. usually with um, usually with um, with Discord access, that's something that you get as a tier for like a patron or something like that. And I guess you know when you're paying for stuff, obviously, you know 
it 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 means that it's it is going to be part of your job to do that. But for us, you know, our channel is really, you know, a, a I don't know. It's a it's like a very uh it's like home in a way. So we don't see it as something that is um I don't know. We don't see it as work, like something that is you know that we have to keep up with it because you know that's where we make our money we've said it many times we don't really make money off of um the channel no so um so the channel is something that we just enjoy doing it's um it's it's work it's a lot of work but we we love doing it and so um so those things that people usually associate with like uh um kind of like paid uh services um yeah i i totally get you know why in those instances it it kind of it feels like it's something that should be offered and should be you know you should keep up with it um but for us it's a little more difficult if i have to be very very honest Aymeric Gauterin was saying hi Danny and Nico hey Aymeric how are you Drew Thompson was saying hi all. Just hey, got Drew. the kids to bed. Now it's OPL time. Oh Jesus! Oh, that means Best that you're going to be. Best time of the day. You're going to if you're anything like me, it's like kids all are off to bed. It's my time. It's video game time. Five minutes later, out cold. <laughs> I am out. Catherine Bremsky was saying hi and hola, hola, hola. everyone, hola everyone. Hey, Catherine. Maria Cacaito Pelón mm -hmm. dice, Hola, hola, ¿cómo van? Dani y Coco, ¿cómo sigue Chilibín? Muy bien. Está perfecta. Mañana tiene la visita al veterinario. Sí, sí. Pues sí, casi sales volando con tu cámara. Sí, no. Está perfecta. Eh, mañana. Mm, pásala por este lado. Por este lado del, del micrófono. Por todo este lado. De pronto. Mañana. Yeah. No, 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 porque cada vez que me vas a hacer No, 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 pero lo muevo. Moviendo. So I'm going to be moving uh, the camera a little bit today. Love to everyone. Love everyone. Eh, mañana tiene la cita al veterinario, la chilanguita. Y ahorita está dormida en un saco mío que salió de la secadora. Y ella se enrolló en el saquito y se durmió. Entonces, está muy bien. Eh, Shreyas Sanicomu was saying, Hey, big fan, I've been watching your whole series while I paint. Oh, thank Ooh. you. Thank you and welcome here, yeah. Shreyas. Mm, Saint Gales dice, Hoy me ha pasado lo más raro que me ha pasado desde que empecé a pintar. Uf, a ver. Eso fue todo lo que dice. Expectativa enorme. No, ya eso fue. Ah, Antes listo, sí. No, Se debería ir. No, y dice, hace un mes pedí cuatro tubos de la Michael Harding, blanco sí. titanio, ocre, amarillo francés, sombra natural y ultramar. Sí. Pero la distribuidora solo tenía el azul y el amarillo. Llamé a preguntar si podía ir a buscar al menos esos dos, pues se me estaba acabando la pintura ya. Hoy los fui a buscar, llegué a la facultad y cuando fui a probarlos, el tubo de azul estaba bien. Pero en cuanto apreté el tubo de ocre, salió pintura negra. Era negro marfil. Uh. Con las ganas que tenía yo de probar ese amarillo. Este... ¿De un amarillo francés? ¿Es? Ya te digo. No sé cuál es. Ocre amarillo francés. Mm, sí. Suena exótico. Y a ver... ¿Y qué le dijeron? Espera, espérate, porque estoy buscando. Es que como los comentarios están segmentados, los tengo ah. que buscar. Tengo mucha anticipación por el amarillo ocre de la Harding porque es ligeramente más mm. cálido y semitransparente. Mm. He devuelto el tubo, me sí. mandarán un recambio en un mes. junto al resto de los tubos que me faltan. Sí. Bueno, paciencia. ¿Te ha pasado eso alguna Nunca. vez a ti? No. A mí tampoco. Suena como cuando uno le sale el huevo picho. Pensé que ibas a decir... Exactamente. Sí, no. Eso. Como lo del queso, pensé. Mm, también, todo picho. Eh, a ver. 
Picho será... ¿Un español entiende Picho? Sí. Pero es que creo que... Un huevo dañado, ¿cómo se dice eso? ¿Podrido? Podrido, podrido. Mi amor, Nosotros ¿cómo decimos... así? Sí, perdón, perdón. También decimos podrido. No sé qué es esa palabra. Eh, Giselle dice... ¿Algún consejo que me den para ser más constante al pintar? Tengo muchos lienzos a la mitad, jaja. ¿Empezar con pinturas que no lleven tanto tiempo? Y, mm, y hemos parado esas pinturas porque, Giselle, necesito, necesito más contexto. Y yo tengo que porque decir... Que han quedado que a así, las pinturas. Que así uno, o sea, si uno va a dejar algo a la mitad porque se frustra o por lo que sea, no importa que la pintura lleve... O sea, si uno se demora en una pintura dos meses o si se va a demorar 30 minutos, pues a los 15 minutos de cualquiera de las dos la puede dejar ahí. Si me entiendes, como que creo que cuando uno se engancha a terminar las cosas, tiene que hacerlo sin importar que, que sea un como un esfuerzo que va a durar más tiempo o que va a durar menos. Porque pues uno puede renunciar en cosas que duran poquito o duran harto, es lo que estoy tratando de decir. Sí, yo, yo quisiera saber es por qué, renu por qué las dejamos a un lado. Digamos que no renunciar, pero las, las dejamos a un lado. En stand-by, que eso siempre... Es Lo que como... pasa es que para mí, si pasa un mes y yo no he vuelto a, a hacer la pintura que puse a un lado, no hay forma de que yo la vuelva a tocar. Sí, aunque yo creo que eso también tiene mucho que ver con tu como personalidad como artista, porque yo creo que tú eres una persona, pues primero que trabaja súper rápido, y segundo, que le gusta como resolver ah, pero todo yo... en el momento en el que te sientas. No, 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 pero escúchame, porque yo conozco mucha gente que empieza varias pinturas sí. y va como devolviéndose a una y no, luego devolviéndose lindita. a otra. Lo que pasa es que no, no me conociste mucho en esa época, pero... No, sí, pero entonces pero cuando... sí había tiempos donde en un mes no tocabas una pintura y volvías, pero no era porque las hubieras dejado de lado, sino porque... Estabas esperando tiempos para volver a retomarla, ¿sí me entiendes? Como que yo creo que es muy distinto cuando uno en su cabeza dice, voy a dejarla ahí un momentico, a ver. Sí, pero un mes. Y así empiezo este, otra, porque es que, pues, Así no esté sé. pintando, así estuviera pintando, digamos, tres pinturas a la vez. Que yo creo que más que eso es como absurdo estar pintando, o sea, decir, estoy pintando diez pinturas a la vez. Yo no sé quién tiene cabeza para pintar diez cosas a la vez, pero yo no, yo por lo menos no. Pero a lo que voy es que no, nunca pasaba un mes en que en, entre que estuviera pintando, digamos, las otras dos y volviera a la primera, porque es que si pasa un mes ya se me olvidó yo qué estaba haciendo. Sí, 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 te entiendo. Entonces, si pasaba un mes es porque no la quiero pintar y pues si no la quería pintar el problema era más grande que, o sea... Pues sí, no se iba a solucionar con no, tiempo. No, 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 y, y yo, y, o sea, y no me funciona, eso no funciona. Por ejemplo, cuando uno, si uno tiene que trabajar para una, para una exposición o para algo, no, no funciona. Eso uno, uno pinta hasta que la acaba. Y la acabó bien o la acabó mal, pero la acabó. Yo prefiero, es, yo prefiero eso, sentir que se culminó el proceso y que puede que no sea la mejor pintura que he hecho en mi vida, pero la acabé. O sea, pero ahí está, la acabé. <risa> Robin Sita was 13, was saying, working and listening. Mm. So, what's the percentage of work? So, what are you paying attention to in percentage? I want to know. Because, I mean, when we're working and doing other things, at least I am guilty of sometimes giving a bigger percentage to what I'm listening than to what I should be doing. But I have to say, if I'm carving or mm -hmm. painting or drawing, I can multi multitask like pretty good mm -hmm. but if i'm doing something else or or if i'm editing but if i'm doing something else i just can't can you nicola chin um i'll listen but but i'll listen uh, that that's probably why i need to um or i don't need to but i choose to listen to things that are Um, that I could just passively listen to. Yeah, I don't yeah. have to like quite pay attention to. Me too. No, if I'm, I mean, I think I, I learned how to paint without sort of paying attention to what I'm painting um, because I, I think my brain is always on while it's painting. But, I, but there's times that I really, really have to concentrate while I'm painting that I know that for, for whatever reason, 
you know, what I'm trying to do is just not working. So I need to like, okay, go back to basics and, and try to like settle down and concentrate. Mm -hmm. um, but no, usually I'll just put something on that I know that won't really, like I could never listen to an audio book and paint. Mm -hmm. I don't think I could ever do that. I think it's like... I, I don't think I've ever tried that, but I don't, but I know myself and I, I don't think I'll, I could ever do that. Like what I've told you about a lot of uh, Netflix series that I've watched, yeah. quote unquote, but I just listen to them. And I've told you that I need series where visually it's not like you have to be seeing the things to know what's happening, yeah. but that they can be like kind of narrated so you can listen to them and sometimes like disconnect from what you're listening and listen again. And yeah. you don't miss anything. Yeah. Because there are series that I can't do that with. So. Mm, Robin Sita was saying, reviewing grants, big federal deadline, first week of June. Ooh, Ooh Robin Sita. Um, Carla Gomez dice, hola, otra vez soñé con ustedes. Ja, ja, ja. Uy, Estaban de visita en mi casa. XP. Sí. Que yo ¿Y qué pedí? estábamos haciendo, ¿Qué, co ¿Qué me ofreció? ¿Qué comimos? Sí, ¿qué me ofreció no sé Carla? No pensé yo de una que estábamos comiendo algo. Pues... Que nos pues, dio Carla de comer, a ver si sí era un buen sueño o una pesadilla. Sí, ¿qué ofreció? Apenas entramos... Es... Sigan, siéntense. Que, como que quieren? como que les traigo? ¿Qué se les antoja? ¿Cuál sería tu cosa favorita? No, 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 o sea, pero uno no dice... No, uno le ofrecen, a uno no... O sea, yo no diría... Pero si te dices, uy, me dieron en la vena del gusto porque tienen, yo creo que para ti, no, pan de no, no. yucas. No, pero, pero, pero no, no. O sea, la verdad, soy de las personas como que lo que sea que le ofrezcan a uno en una casa está bien. Pues pero no es como que vayas a ir a casas de alguien no, y entonces todo el mundo pero, te vaya a comprar pan de yucas pero y pan así de yucas. Soy, pero así soy yo. Así, así. Esa es mi respuesta. No te gusta, pero esa es mi respuesta. Jeff Avila was saying, got so lost, lost in the drawing, the drawing that is now lost, and a laughing uh, I know. emoji. I didn't notice Danny's wearing the jacket from Not Winter. Yes! Ooh. Oh. That's a good um, well, that's apunte. Yeah, yeah, no, I know, I know, but I mean, I, I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am, Jeff. Saint Gales, ah bueno no, esto es parte de lo que nos estaba contando Saint Gales de su pintura no amarilla. Ajá. Cody was saying, haha, the flavor uh, store bought beef, I guess. And with that I have to leave. Happy painting, everyone. Oh, you scared him off with yeah, your lasagna like, oh, talk. Yeah, those questions are dumb. I'm, I'm off. Jesus. Better man. things to do. Uh... Josra Bandarian was saying, please explain about the difference between painting in small scale with subject, figure, and space Oof. consideration compared to painting on a large scale with the focus and figure or portrait. Okay, that's a little oh, Super loaded. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have yeah. to like dissect. Yeah, I love you. That's my <laughs> answer. I love you. Um, no, I mean, uh, I, I think... I would first say that they're making associations of smaller paintings as to the relationship that the the format has with the subject matter that I would never make because mm -hmm. I've seen small paintings that talk where, about space. Yeah, yeah, where where you can see exactly what they're describing that they feel is present in a bigger painting. And I've seen bigger paintings that are painted so loosely and so broadly that they, you know, they evoke things that you could, um, like emotions you could get from something that is smaller. Yeah. So I would start there. I would start and stop there. I would start by saying that, but I would stop there because I don't think size has anything to do with uh, the way you... Size is not conditioning in terms of what you paint. Mm -hmm. It's not at all. I mean, the Arno Arnolfini portrait is actually a, a quite a small painting compared to like you know larger paintings, but it, it is enormous in scope. Yeah, I mean, what they what it 
what Van Eyck was able to do with that painting is is incredible. So, yeah, yeah, I would say that that um, smaller size what you can you know objectively do in a smaller size that is far more difficult to do in a bigger painting is that you have a sense of distance with your painting. You have a, like um, almost like a dimension of distance. Uh, you know, between you, painter, and your painting that allows you to see broadness a little bit easier. So when you have like a very large painting, you know, it, it, and if it's too large to even stand back and, and get a sense of its wholeness, you have to, um, you almost have to like train yourself how to identify wholeness and how to try to control a little bit the, the notion of wholeness within the painting so that it can be manageable. But um, but I I would think that that's a bigger difference than uh, than uh, what can be determined by the format, because I don't think it is determining. Eleazar M dice cómo están de solo ver los lives me hace sentir muy bien. Qué bueno, Ay, Eleazar. qué bueno Eleazar. ¿Cómo estás tú? A ver, Nicolás. Yo. Están preguntando cómo ah, están. Disculpa, pensé que le estabas diciendo cómo estás tú, Eliazar. No, porque es Nicolás. ¿cómo eh, estás tú, yo estoy bien, gracias, muy amable, muy muy amable. Yo también estoy muy bien, Eliazar. Eh, ¿Sabes algo chévere desde acá? No, señora. O sea, ¿Qué? cuando miro hacia la pintura, sí, los señora. ojos se ven blancos porque reflejan las luces. Ah, chiste. Se ve súper cool. Mm, Rosalind Dion was saying, uh -huh. I ordered in perfect Spanish today. Ooh. Ooh. What did you order? The waiter asked which combo. I answered ocho. It number? was great. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought... McDonald's I mean, totally understood my number. I thought I uh, you ordered the whole meal. Like, well, it I is. I a sandwich con adición de queso. Yeah. Jugo de lulu. No, jugo de lulu no habría. Jugo de mora. Sin azúcar. Gracias. But Ocho was a good one. I mean, and did they got it right? They gave Rosalind her a number Tira. six. Uh, Julie's flat was saying, hello, everyone. Hey, Julie's. How are you? Diversity Love was saying, hi. Hey, Diversity Love. Welcome here. Mm. MCLA Film was saying, hi, Daniela and Nicolais. Nicolás, Nicolás. Mm, mm. <laughs> nice to catch the live stream. Thanks for all you share about painting and art and for creating this community. Best, David. Oh, oh that's, that's very so nice. nice. And with Thank that, you, they David. Left. Maybe, like yeah. a long trip <laughs> in a boat somewhere. Mm. Diversity Love was saying, I love listening to Spanish, I need to practice more. Oh, you do. So, Gav Gav. Mm. So, Katya Belilovsky. I really love you. Saying hi, so happy to be here. So happy to have you here. Hey, Katya. I want to know. How's Yuri? Well, if Yuri. We, yeah, but if we can, where does Gav Gav comes from? Come from. Comes from. Oh, comes from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, some, come some, some. from. I want to know. Mmm. Gaga, ah no, dice que Gaga. Okay. Gade Gabi dice, hola los veo siempre que puedo, pero grabado. Me alegra llegar al vivo y pintar con ustedes, gracias por estos vivos. Okay. Admiro mucho lo que hacen, que sean tan generosos con nosotros y sus colegas. Ay, qué bonito. Muchas gracias Gabi y bienvenida. No a Gade Gabi. No, y bienvenida Gabi al primer en vivo, en vivo. No grabado. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué hace Gaby? ¿De dónde es Gaby? Cuéntenos un poquito. <laughs> hey, Janay. We're saying, hey, friends. I'm glad I caught the stream today. Hey, Janay. I hope everyone is having a great day. I hope you're having Same a great to day you, too, Janay. Janay. Mm. St. Gales dice, Dickinson, gran inspiración del non finito. Y un ojo picado. Oh, always, yeah. Always. He's mm. my weakness. Should leave it like this and just call it a, a Dickinson. Ah, bueno. 
¿Te acuerdas la pregunta de Giselle que nos estaba diciendo que deja las pinturas a medias? Sí, Giselle, por Giselle favor. dice, dejo de hacer las pinturas ya que me frustro porque no me están saliendo como quiero o no sé cómo resolverlas. Uh -huh. Igual no tengo muchas ganas de seguirlas, pero siento que debería hacerlas incluso uh -huh. como práctica. Pues Giselle, yo que me he visto en ese lugar varias veces, diría que el mejor consejo es empujarse a hacerlas porque es que el problema es que si uno está frenando cada vez que se le aparece un obstáculo como si uno renuncia a lo que está haciendo porque se le aparece un obstáculo pues nunca va a llegar a hacer nada nunca va como a, a aprender cómo sobrepasar ese obstáculo porque pues a uno le dio miedo y uno frenó y yo sé que a veces se siente como súper difícil empujarse a como a sentirse incómodo con lo que uno está haciendo porque no está saliendo como uno quiere, pero creo que en ese esfuerzo está como una ganancia muy grande de, de poder aprender del propio error de uno y de poder como ir conociendo cómo uno navega esos obstáculos que el arte le pone, sea pintura, sea escultura, sea dibujo, siento que sí es necesario empujarse a hacer las cosas, no sé tú. Sí, de acuerdo. Ahí estoy 100% de acuerdo contigo. ¿Ahí estoy? Pues no, Re no siempre estoy de eso? acuerdo. No, no siempre, está bien, no pasa nada. Eh, St. Gales dice, ¿recuerdan que recomendasteis mm -hmm. Succession a todo el mundo? Pues yo les recomiendo tanto Los Sopranos como mm -hmm. The Wire. No, no sí. lo hemos visto. No, The Wire tengo, tengo que... Sí, me lo he querido ver desde hace mucho, mucho tiempo. Y Succession es una muy buena recomendación. Es buena, es muy buena. No la gozamos mucho cuando... ¿Cómo no es que es la canción, mi coco? Bueno, te falta un poquito antes del cha cha cha, -cha pero o sea, estuvo súper bien. Estuvo muy bien. Muy bien. A veces has cantado y no tengo ni idea si es... Un happy verde. Succession o Los chichi peralta, dicen... sí. Eh, Prince Verbones. Was saying hello everyone. I'll be in and out because I'm on my tiny lunch break, but we'll definitely watch back later. Thank you. And what are you having for lunch, Prince? Lasagna. What flavor? <laughs> cadaver. Uh, meat. Well, no. What flavor cadaver? If people are not, if they don't know the joke, yeah, that would be no, a terrible. No. Yeah. They have to go back to week. Uh. I don't I'm know, but it's an edited video and it's called Lasagna Cadaver, so they can just Google, no, Google, well, search in YouTube. Yeah. Or Painted Lives Lasagna Cadaver. I wonder Cadaver. if I have an idea of when it is. So try and guess and I'll mm. check. It's second year. I know that. I hope I know. Yeah, it's second year. Second it year as in 2021. Yeah, then? it's 2021. Okay. I'm going to say week. Oh. I don't know, uh, 59. So you were very close. Yeah. So it was uh, March yeah. 19, 2021, week 58. Oh, Jesus Christ. Nicolás. How fucking amazing am I? Yeah. Yeah. That was like. I know. I know. Thank you. I mean. I remember everything. I about thought my you were going to be off. Ask me your shoe size. No <laughs> idea. You don't even know my phone number. So. No, no, your phone number, no, I no, don't. No, and that's terrible. No. I Why? Mean, because if you need, like, if something happens and you need to call me, yeah, you can't. No. I mean, uh, by, I mean, do you mean they stole my cell phone? Yeah. Or, yeah, you need something. Yeah. I'll write an email. Mm-hmm. Just keep, just have those. Because uh, you know, I check my email every single well, day. Well, have notifications so. on for your email. Oh, so I have to do that and you don't have to learn well, my Well, I'm phone? in trouble. I need help. <laughs> uh, I or E was saying what? Bellissima. It's, I mean, it's a username. It, it's just one letter. Oh. So I think they're saying that your painting's uh, beautiful. Or they're saying the that painting. to you. Supratim Chaudhuri was saying hello. Hello, hello Supratim, how are hello. you? Hello. Rosa Cano Delgado dice, mm. ¿qué diferencias hay 
Mm. En tu obra, mm. si trabajas a la prima o en varias sesiones. Eh, pues te, aparte de las formales, o sea, de que la pintura, o sea, de que en, en la pintura se puedan resolver eh, ciertas instancias de maneras en que solo son posibles cuando se hace una pintura como más indirecta. Mm, no sé, yo no, no sé qué que lo determina, o sea, hay veces no quisiera decir que es como el detalle o la, la el nivel de resolución de algo no sé no sé, es como más mi deseo de, hay, hay veces tengo como la la certeza de que quiero acercarme a lo que estoy haciendo de una manera como mucho más expresiva y hay veces que siento que quiero tener como un proceso no sé investigativo en la, con la pintura que dure más tiempo pero pero no sé, o sea, hay veces he hecho pinturas súper expresivas también que son de mm, varias sesiones entonces ahí pues no o sea, ahí me estoy dando cuenta que no es exclusivo que el ser expresivo no es exclusivo de una sola sesión, de pintar como, como un, en una sola sesión no sé, no, sabes que no, no, sé, no sé realmente qué, qué lo determina. Yo creo que yo sé si quiero pintar algo eh, o, o desde el comienzo o, o, o mientras lo estoy pintando, como que tengo el, eh, el entendimiento de si quiero terminarlo en una sesión o si no. Pero el otro día estaba pintando una pintura de Fer que pensé que iba a hacer en varias sesiones uh -huh. y cuando la vi dije, no, está está lo que estaba buscando. Ya ahí está lo que estaba buscando. Entonces, ¿para qué pintarla más? Sí, entonces, no sé. No sé. Quisiera tener como más certeza sobre eso, pero no, no sé. La verdad, no sé. Es como medio... No, pero no, sería poco decir que es caprichoso, pero, pero pienso que es una cosa más intuitiva. Entonces, más bien, digámosle así. Aunque eso suena un poquito arcano. St. Gales dice, sobre los formatos... En uh -huh. la facultad, los profesores nos están presionando constantemente Grande. a hacer pinturas de tamaño de historia, claro. sea cual sea el sujeto. Claro. Yo no sé qué es esa maña de, de la... de... de y en especial la pintura, ¿no? Curioso. Que esté obsesionada con creer que pintar grande es pintar más importante, es decir, algo como mm, con mayor convencimiento o, o no sé como tonto. Rachel, Rachel is saying, how do you learn to shade painting with the right shades at the right spots from seeing a picture when it looks all blended? Oof. Hey. So, the, I'll, I'll answer this in, in a way that maybe it's not the one that you're expecting, but um, I think painting from life. I think painting from life is the greatest um teaching aid that you will ever have if you decide to paint from photographs because that's where you're going to instruct yourself and that's where you're going to get all those um that's that's where you're going to know how you respond to certain instances during your painting and then you can um sort of invoke slash ev evoke those moments while you're painting from reference. Um, so I would say paint from life, and that's where you're going to find your answers. Uh, Rosalind was saying, it was a perfect lunch. Gracias. Ooh. Ooh. Number eight. Yeah. Buenos tardes. Otra vez número ocho. Gracias. Delicioso. <laughs> In every single place uh, that Rosalind's going to go, Gonna order the number eight. Yeah. It's just tap get, water. It's yeah. tap water, ma'am. Numero yeah. ocho. Thank you. Ya sé eso. Numero que ocho. Es lo que quiero. No me grite. Gracias. Hasta luego. Um, Cero propina. Dana was saying the brand is Cera Colors. Um, um, give me some context. Yeah, yeah I'm Oliva. looking for it because I'm a little bit lost. Mm. What? 
Dana, because I see that your last comment was hello, everyone. Mm -hmm. And then. You and then command the epic. brand is Sarah Colors. Mm, I, I don't know. I love that, though. No, let's keep that. Let's just know that. That the brand is Sarah Colors. Keep that in mind, please, <laughs> everyone. Carla Anglada was mm -hmm. saying, Hi, everyone. How is Sweet Chili? She's doing great. She's been sleeping since we, since before we started the live stream. Yeah. Carla was saying, Hola, Rosaline BP. I'm practicing my Spanish too. I love that the practicing was saying, Hola. Mm, numero ocho. Yeah. Hola, ocho gracias. Ocho gracias, ocho gracias. The ocho. That's um, El in Chavo. A, in a really, in a really bad uh, movie, the dodgeball movie, but it's really good. I actually think it's very funny. Uh, the dodgeball tournament. You know how there's like a, um, or it was a joke that ESPN had so many channels. Uh, so. Well, I think it was a, um, joke maybe in the U.S. Because uh, I don't know if here it was. Yeah, I think it, well, I think I was very conscious that eventually, I remember it when it was just ESPN, and then they had ESPN2, and then they had ESPN uh, Plus, was it? There was a Latin ESPN, and I forget what it was called. And uh, so, but the joke was that they had done so many ESPNs that this, you know, tournament that nobody cared for, they would, they would, um, Transmitted via ESPN Ocho. Yeah, Prince Verbones was saying ESPN the Ocho. Ocho, yeah. Um, let's see. Gade Gabi mm -hmm. dice gracias. Soy de Buenos Aires, Argentina. Fotógrafa y como convertí mi entonces hobby en proces procesión, profesión. Mm -hmm. Los hobbies son una profesión, <laughs> sí. Eh, ahora ando dibujando y pintando para recuperar lo lindo que es tener un hobby. Bueno. Ay, qué bueno, ¿y hace cuánto anda dibujando y pintando? Gade Gaby. Mm, Prince Bourbon. Yo pinto desde pequeña. La no, mi amor, porque es, está diciendo es que, que hasta ahorita empezó. Desde pequeña. Desde pequeña. <risa> Solo querías hacer el... Desde le, pequeña. <risa> Prince Bourbon was saying, I'm having a steak and potato hand pie. Ooh, ooh. Potato hand pie? Mm. ¿Qué es eso? Uh, it sounds like a, like a uh, meat pie with no meat. I wish I was having a lasagna cadaver like Cody. <laughs> no, but yours sounds very good. Now I'm curious to know what a hand pie is. Maybe it's like a hand-thrown pie or something. But I wonder what made, what made it a hand pie. Well, if we, we're talking about lasagna cadaver, maybe. I mean, I would love it if it was just like, pie, you know, so. it's like, oh my God, this finger is raw in my hand pie. But I seriously doubt that it has. It, uh, it looks like an empanada. Yeah? Look. Like a empanada argentina. Chilena. Chilena. Mira. I can't. I can't. I'll trust you. I can't. I can't see. No? No, no, no. Un poquito? no, 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 don't no? worry. Not interested? No, 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 I am, I am, I am, but it's okay. Eh, Wilson Orellana dice, mm -hmm. ayuda. Ayuda. ¿Hay alguna razón para comprar tubos de óleo costosos? Ninguna. Considerando que no tengo la intención de que mis cuadros perduren cientos de años, ¿qué más me pierdo? Eh, ayuda. <laughs> ayuda, eh, dijo Wilson. Está en la tienda. <laughs> Está en la caja. Señor. Un momento, señora. Un momento. Ya le la confirmo. Atrás, sí. Ya le confirmo. A punto de eh, pasar el. Sí, la tarjetazo. señora atrás con el niño chiquito con 700 cuadernos. Eh, no, no pasa nada. No, o sea, no importa. No importa. Lo que pasa es que. Mm, a ver, yo tengo una filosofía que a mí nunca me ha importado. O sea, el. el, el eh, eh, la calidad del color, pues, obviamente influye en, en que el color sea manejable o en, o en cómo se siente debajo del pincel cuando uno lo está poniendo sobre un sustrato. O sea, todas esas cosas son innegables. 
pero, pero, eh, yo soy, a, a, o sea, soy una persona que por, supongo que por la, eh, el hecho de que nosotros somos colombianos y que pues acá no se consiguen cosas eh, fácilmente o cuando se consiguen pues tienden a ser excesivamente costosas, pues los colombianos ten, tendemos a ser súper recursivos y, y pues es una tontería digamos, yo que fui profe de la Facultad de Arte, exigirle a mis alumnos colores que no van a poder comprar y pues que sí, o sea, que, o que de pronto ni siquiera van a tener la facilidad de conseguir. Entonces, eh, uno se acostumbra a que pues uno usa lo que hay y ya. O sea, uno hace lo mejor con lo que hay. Y para mí esa es como una virtud muy grande de, de por ejemplo, los, los eh, artistas suramericanos, yo siento, somos muy recursivos. O normalmente los artistas como de, de, de países que no son muy grandes o que no tienen mercados de arte muy grandes, tienden, los artistas tienden a ser súper, súper recursivos. Y eso a mí, a mí se me hace que uno le tiene que enseñar a que eso está bien. Eh, ahora, técnicamente, si, si salimos de, eso, de esa discusión, que pues diga, esa es la postura que yo tengo, pero técnicamente, sí, hay colores, o sea, hay colores que son mejores que otros, o sea, objetivamente mejores que otros. Y mejores quiere decir que, por ejemplo, tienen una carga de pigmento, de pigmento más alta, eh, entonces no le echan como relleno a los colores, sino que hay, hay una proporción de pigmento aglutinante que es mucho más, más alta que en los colores que son más accesibles. Los colores que también son más económicos tienden a tener pigmentos que no son eh, los pigmentos eh, reales entonces por ejemplo si uno quisiera comprar un rojo cadmio eh, por lo general el rojo cadmio va a ser muy costoso porque es, la producción del rojo cadmio es, es muy costosa entonces lo que hacen las, las casas productoras de pintura para hacer que ese matiz, no ese pigmento que ese matiz, o sea un color rojo que se asemeje al rojo cadmio pueda ser más económico es que mezclan pigmentos que son más económicos y los llaman como matiz rojo cadmio o, o eh, rojo cadmio y en inglés ponen hue. Eh, entonces uno no está realmente pintando con el pigmento que, que uno cree que, que de pronto es el que uno debería, con el que uno debería estar pintando, sino que con unas variaciones, con unas mezclas eh, que son cercanas a ese, pigment, a ese pigmento, pero normalmente la saturación es más baja o la capacidad de cubrir es más baja. Eh, entonces no tienen las calidades, eh, eh, digamos, originales. Pero no quiere decir que con esos colores no se pueda hacer una pintura chévere. O sea, uno puede con cualquier pintura hacer, o sea, con cualquier calidad de pintura, la responsabilidad está en uno de si uno hace una pintura chévere o no. Uno no le puede echar la culpa a la pintura. Julia Tovar dice, hola, hola. <ríe> Julia. Un saludito rápido mientras espero que Artu salga del jardín. Ah, bueno. Hola, la Julia. Ahorita se va. Se va a recoger al ¿Cómo niño. ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo le fue a Artu? Para que nos cuente cómo le fue hoy en el jardín. ¿Qué aprendió hoy? Yo cuando iba a recoger a mi primito, siempre decía, ¿Y ¿qué aprendiste hoy? Y todo el recorrido hasta la casa sí. era charla contándome. Oiga, Julia, yo le pregunté, pero ¿Arturito para su esposo tiene algo que ver con la Guerra de las Galaxias? ¿Con Star Wars? O sea... Creo que sí le preguntaste y creo... ¿Sí? Creo que sí, dijo. O sí le pregunté y me disculpa si sí le pregunté. Creo que sí. Eh... Eleazar M. dice, ¿y cómo va su semana? Sí, solía verlos por breves momentos en vivo. Me gusta pintar y este es mi canal de cajón. Para cuando tengo dudas o trabas, jeje. Hace unas semanas tuve mi primer expo, fue colectiva. Uy, Uy Eleazar, muy chévere. Felicitaciones, ese es un buen momento. Y que como va nuestra semana, ¿bien? Sí, todo muy bien. Ha llovido mucho en Bogotá. Es curioso, días como mañanas muy calientes, mm. tardes lluviosas. <risa> eh, así ha ido nuestra semana. Eh, también está lloviendo mucho de noche y de madrugada. Mm, ¿Alguna otra? Entonces, no se puede le, dormir ¿Le quieres tanto? contar a Eliazar algo más sobre el clima ¿Qué bogotano? ¿Qué más ha pasado? Ah, bueno, fui Por ayer a hacer los envíos. 
Sí, señora. Eh, ¿Qué te pasó? Fui con la chili. Mm. Muy juiciosa, me acompañó. ¿Estaba lloviendo? Caminando. ¿Llovía? ¿Llovía? No, ¿Llovía? Haciendo un sol tremendo. Tremendo. Le compré una botellita de agua, tomo un poquito. Uh -huh. Al regreso, a la ida me encontré con mi hermana, uh -huh. que se estaba bajando del bus. Cruzó la calle y nos vimos. Uh -huh. Esto suena como si fuera un pueblo chiqui chiquitito donde no, uno se sí, encuentra. Buenas. Pero, sí. Ay, mire. Viene su hermana. Mm, Ay, gracias, señor eh, Clotilde, por avisar. ¿Qué más? Le compré a la chili mm. un. Se llama un lick mat, que es como un mm. eh, tapetito para ponerle la comida. Uh -huh. eh, le ha gustado mucho. Y eh, dicen que es muy bueno. Dicen. Yo. Todo lo que digan que es bueno para. Todo chile, lo que digan. Va a estar. Se compra. Casa. Y ya, Eleazar, esa ha sido la semana. ¿Cómo? Uf. ¿Qué más? Ah, bueno, no. He estado tallando. Oh. Eh, encontré una manera de ser más ordenada tallando. Mm. Y es que tengo que hacer pausas como mm. cada 20 minutos mm. para limpiar un poquito. Bueno. Y así no se me llena de viruta, porque cuando se me llenaba la mesa de viruta, es que el piso se llenaba de viruta, uh -huh. y no quiero que la pancita de chili se llene de viruta, entonces... Cuando la mía se llenaba de viruta, no te importaba nada, ¿no? ¿no? pues porque eso sí es por bobada tuya de comer viruta en el piso, por cochino, pero pues... <risa> porque no me compraste un <risa> lick mat. Sí, me toca, me toca probar. Con mantequilla de maní se le echa a los perritos. Tú ves, serías por feliz con uno. entonces... <risa> Eh, sí, esa ha sido la semana, Eleazar. Eh, se me ocurre al, si se me ocurre algo más, le cuento más adelante. Pero por ahora eso ha sido. Ah, bueno, doña. <ríe> sí, ya. Gracias. Ya se desconectó. Giselle dice, gracias, terminaré algunos lienzos que tengo por la mitad o como bocetos, jaja. Aunque me sea difícil. Por cierto, es la segunda vez que los veo en directo. Son increíbles. Muchísimas Tan gracias, amable. Giselle. Yo veré en la, tercera, en la tercera vez que nos visite, Giselle, que nos no, cuente no, pintó que nada. ya haya terminado. No, pintó nada. Así sea uno. Empecé no, cuatro empecé, más, <risa> empecé <risa> cuatro <risa> más empecé y ahí están, más, sí. ahí están mirando a la pared porque <risa> ni siquiera quiero que me, que me den la cara. I was asking, is the surface paper or canvas? Oh, Raw Daniel Lira. paper. Raw paper. Yeah. Why did you say Daniel Lira? I mean, you can't. Well, it's answer. your time. It's your, uh, Raw your paper. time to answer. Your time to shine. Raw paper. Thank you. <laughs> Rosalind was saying, Hola, Catherine. I've perfected Hola and Ocho so far. Oh. Yay. Awesome. Yeah. I mean. So you greet people and you get you five of whatever they're offering. That's awesome. Five? Uh, eight, I'm sorry. <laughs> I haven't perfected eight. <laughs> so uh, sometimes I get five. Uh, Supratim Chaudhuri was saying, I'm good. How about you guys? How's Chile? We're all good. Doing great. Do you want to tell him about your day? Uh, so Chile has a new lick mat. Mm. She's been loving it. Mm. Oh, I thought you were going to start by saying that uh, you saw your sister yesterday. Oh, I did. She came out of the bus. Yes. And she entered the store where I was buying the lick mat. Mm -hmm. I also bought a... You should change the name, I feel. A beef liver uh, with Greek yogurt. Jesus. Fuck. And honey ice cream for chili. Yeah, that was our lunch today. And Not I great. got some... Not great. Like bouncing balls or like tennis balls, but tiny balls so she can play. Mm -hmm. I've got tiny balls too yesterday. <laughs> What? Uh, so, yeah. Prince Burbones was saying, Carla, it was pretty yummy. Oh, because Carla was saying that the potato hand pie sounds yummy. Okay, yeah. And Prince Burbones was saying, the Boomerang brand makes some pretty decent frozen ones. They're like Hot Pockets for hot ad pockets. adults. Okay. <laughs> Wait, Hot Pocket can be for an adult? What are you talking about? Camila Ogorman dice, tampoco me sé ningún número de teléfono. El año pasado se me cerró la puerta de mi casa, llave adentro y yo afuera. Por eso es que y se terminé, fue a París a vivir. Terminé en y París. Terminé en, <risa> en lo de mi vecina pidiendo rescate a mis hijos por DM desde Instagram desconocido. Claro. No, Camila. Pero hijo, Camila, quiero aprender. Hijo, soy yo. 
Pedro, soy yo. Soy yo, tu mamá. Pero me tienes que creer. Camila, ¿y fue por nota de voz? Estoy donde Dolores. Porque, créeme, soy yo, soy yo. Oye, si eres bueno con, con el acento, Coquito. Eh, no, yo tengo que decir que si Nicolás me pide ayuda desde un DM desconocido, no lo nunca. vería a los seis meses yo. No, no respondan nunca. Sí, yo no. Yo ahí miraré cómo llegó a Colombia otra vez, cómo llegó a casa. <risa> y Camila aprendió de su lección y se aprendió los teléfonos. Y no o... se sabe nada. O le tocó a, al hijo... Eh... Pues agregar a la vecina por si vuelve a Más pasar bien, cualquier sí. cosa. Eh, so, Gav Gav, Katia, mm -hmm. was saying, oh, Gav Gav story, haha. <laughs> okay. In Russian, yeah. we call Gav Gav. the at. The at? Sign. No, 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 el arroba. Oh, okay. The arroba. Y the arroba uh -huh. sign, we call it dog. Okay. Have no idea why. Makes absolute sense. Gav Gav is woof woof in Russian. There we so go. So when you put Gav Gav at your email, it sounds funny. Well, mm. used to be funny 25 plus years ago. Yeah. But I'm an old person now and all my jokes are mom jokes. Ha ha ha. And Judy is great. He's always asking what's going on, going on in the chat and sending his regards. So I have to say, Katia, I really like the story. I find it funny. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I you would. I cool. Yeah. I so like it's it. It's a dog barking, so that's that, you know, it's pretty good. And uh, please send a big hug from our part, from our end okay. to Judy. What end? Which end? You Come know what? <laughs> Tell him to pick an end. <laughs> um, Carla Anglada was saying, Katia, I love mom, dad, and kid jokes. Yeah. <laughs> What? I'm not saying. I'm not doing anything. You just like open your. I am not nostril. doing anything. I'm not doing or saying anything. Pito. What? Or, <laughs> or Pyro. Uh -huh. Pito says hello. Why head like that? Um. Hello. Uh. Because. Um. What do you mean? Tom's head. I think he should be more respectful to Tom. <laughs> Honestly. Don't just make fun of people's heads. Come on, dude. Well, I mean, he's making... Uh, Come on, dude. Show some Tom. respect. A Tom. So, Jesus fine, Christ. Tom, that, they didn't mean anything by that. Nesca, you have a great head. Nesca was saying, ha, ha, ha. No me grite. <laughs> when you were saying, no me grite. <laughs> Señora. Uh, Dana was saying, oh, no. Did my earlier comment... Comment, comment. Comment disappear. Yes. Yes, Dana, maybe. I mean, I don't know if maybe you, if you add like a link or something, that's the only reason why I think it can be deleted. So they don't show me the comments. That, that and Danny a... just. Uh, oh, I delete erase, all the comments. Yeah, she erases them. No, no, it's Arbitrarily. A joke. But I like that you just uh, a horrible commented moderator. with um, a brand. We What? have no idea. Because Dana was saying this because before she just said the name of a of a brand. Okay. Like the brand is blah, blah, blah. I don't know if you remember. Oh, right, right, right. I guess you don't. Masa. But Or something like that. No, like crack colors. I don't bring colors. Crap colors? No. Crea like colors. Cry colors. Aymeric Gautering was saying, Hey, Nicolás, do you miss working on bigger canvas formats? Um, yes and no. Yes and no. Oof. What the hell? Um, yeah, I, I guess, you know, if I started to paint on bigger, um, bigger canvases right now, I'm pretty sure I would feel at some point that I missed, that I, I would miss working on smaller Uh, images. So, I don't know. Instead of focusing on what I am missing or not missing, or I'm just focusing on what I can do with uh, with the paintings that I'm doing. So that way I'm not. That way my mind is not yearning for something that's not there. Don Tarius Jones was saying, "Love your show." 
Thank you. Oh, thank you. I it's like time that for they commercials. call them a show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we could actually add those. What? I, I just never add add ads. But we could have like oh, no, I I commercials. No, no, no. I would hate that. No, no, no. I'm just saying because it's... Take a commercial break. Yeah. No, I wouldn't <laughs> like that at all. I would leave. Nicolina Luquenda mm -hmm. was saying, I really love your artworks. It was really fun watching you paint with gouache. Please do more gouache. And okay. And would love to see your approach to plein air paintings. Oh, okay. That's a little more difficult, though. I'm sorry. I... Those we can't really produce easily. I mean, easily, you've, you've so. uploaded to your Instagram. Yeah, but plein air paintings you've done. But yeah, but in videos, as yes. in you know, um, and live know, streams, J James Gurney or live streams doing um, uh, uh, plein air videos. Um, yeah, those are a little more difficult yes. for us to do. So I apologize for that, but those are probably not coming in the near future. Mm. Prince Burbones was saying, I think they actually had an ESPN The Ocho at some point no. that played only the fringe sports. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm pretty sure they didn't. Camila Ogorman dice, desde chiquita. ¿Qué era lo que estás diciendo tú? Cuando Gade Gaby dijo que... ¿Hace cuánto dibujaba y tú empezaste a hacer acento? Ah, no sé. Desde chiquita. Bueno, Gade Gaby dice, jaja, el porteño de Nicolás salió muy bien, jajaja. Ja, ja. Es el único sí, que puede hacer. dibujaba de chica, luego la vida. Estudié abogacía, ejercí, fui muy infeliz, cambié a foto para ser más feliz, retomé el dibujo hace un par de años. Bueno, ah, muy toda, chévere. Una vida, toda una vida buscando, eso está bien. Gian Mario D'Alessio. Uh -huh. Dice, hola muchachos, no olviden estirar esos músculos. Creo que es de... Es ¿Cuál algo es? Que, eh... No, y es algo que sí olvidamos un montón. Yo no... Sí, el, el error ahí está en suponer que hay músculos. <risa> Jan Mario. Um, Prince Burbones was saying goodbye for today. Hope everyone has a good rest of their day. You too, Prince Burbones. Have a good day. Nahuel Tribulo dice, uh, yo tengo cinco pinturas, jaja, estoy en el horno. Igual ya casi termino tres y dos son nuevitas. Bueno, está bien. Pero bueno, si hay, si hay avance, está bien. Si es como, yo empecé cinco, pero mañana voy a empezar dos. Y, y se las sumo a las sábado, 18 que exacto, había. Exacto, sí, sí, sí. Um, Louis Izzo mm -hmm. was saying hello from San Diego. Oh. Been watching and painting along for a few months now. P.S. Nicolas is hilarious. Oh, no. That was uh, my brother's hometown. I yes. visited him in San Diego a couple of times. I thought you were going to say something about your brother when they were saying that you were hilarious. Uh, my brother uh, also thinks uh, <laughs> the same thing. No. No. Um, Eleazar dice, jaja, ja, ya veo buena semana, jaja. Ja. ¿Y qué tal la de Nicolás? Yo atento de escuchar. Ahora me encuentro dibujando. ¿Mi semana? Sí. Muy bien. Muy bien. Mm. Gracias, muy amable. Pero es muy chistoso, Nicolás, porque él siempre puede hablar por horas y horas. Sí. Pero a veces decide no. Hoy no se le dio la gana. No. No Estoy con Eleazar, tiempo. aparentemente, entonces, pues es lo que es, ¿no, Eleazar? No con Nicolás, no sabe nunca. Mm, Catherine was saying, hey, Roslyn, I'm stunned by your Spanish. <laughs> Ocho, Ocho, dice Roslyn. Um, mm. Sergi Arts dice, hola, ¿cómo están? Hola, ¿Hace Sergi. cuántos días le rasca? Ocho. Uy, no, mi amor. Ya te diciendo dice que eres chistoso. No, ¿Con no, cuántas no. parejas ha estado esta semana? Ocho. Va, wow, tiene sentido. Sergi Arts dice, hola, ¿cómo están? Hola, Sergi. Muy bien, ¿cómo estás, Mira, Sergi? Chile, creo que le dio risa o no, dijo como, no, este huevón. De la pena. Sí. 
Mi amor, ¿qué es Sergi? Dice que ¿cómo estás? Eh, todo muy bien, Sergi. Pensé muy amable. Pensé que ibas a decir ocho Muchas y hubiera gracias. sido increíble, ah, pero... Bueno, sí, es verdad. No, no eres tan hilarious no, no, como no, no, dicen. No tuve, cuando, cuando, cuando presenté el chiste, lo había dado por acabado. Qué pena, qué pena. Camila Ogorman dice, fui rescatada tres horas más tarde. No aprendí los teléfonos, pero le dejé una llave a mi vecina. Mejor, sí. <risa> no, como que... uno odiar a la vecina? Sí. Que mami era tres horas allá metido. Hola, Filis. Eh, Nesrin Amin, mm -hmm. saying, it's suddenly looking a lot like Tom C. It is in the eyebrows, I think. Did he send you a photo? Sorry, I missed the start. Oh, oh no, no. So I was gonna paint him. That was the intent. So, um, so I feel I feel better now that at least you're saying like, oh my God, that's beginning to look like Tom. Although I don't know if my other paintings of Tom really, you know, really, really look like Tom. You know, they're they are based from Tom. I would say. Wilson Orellana dice, saludos desde Quito, Ecuador. Estamos en sesión de dibujo académico. Como me cansa, pero supongo servirá a futuro para ganar esas destrezas. <ríe> ¡Qué mamera! ¿Qué está dibujando? La detesto, pero... Orellana, ¿qué está dibujando? Sergi Arts dice, ay, Nico. Ay, Sergi. ¿Viste el tráiler? Lo vi. Y el gameplay que sacaron ayer para el Spider-Man 2 sí. del Lo PS5? único bueno, ¿eh? Lo único bueno, Sergi. De Tampoco resto, sé pérdidas. si jugaste al premio... ¿El qué? ¿Al premio mayor? ¿Al premio gordo? Tampoco sé si jugaste el primero. Sí, y el de Miles. Que no lo regaló, sí, no, mi hermana. Eh, el de o Miles. el de Miles Morales. Sí, yo pero ya. me pareció una pasada. El de Miles no lo regaló mi hermana. Sí, sí, sí. Que yo no lo he jugado. Eh, no, no. Es Creo largo. que es Samu. Samu sí lo ha jugado. Samu lo jugó dos veces incluso. Y que sí lo vi. Como obsesivo. Trailer, sí. Claro. Sí, anoche, anoche. No, ayer, ayer eh, 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 encontré un espacio para, para verme el, el showcase. Con Chile. Ah, sí, Chile ahí durmió al lado mío. Pero, no, muy malito. Pensé que iba a haber cosas como más chéveres, pero no. No, había, no hubo como gran cosa, tristemente. Rosaline Dion was saying, Danny, your jacket is really pretty, by the way. Oh, thank you, Rosaline. Está a la orden, Rosaline. Me da ocho. <laughs> Me gusta ocho. ¿Qué talla? Ocho. Um, I would like to uh, read you, try and What? say that in What? Spanish, Rosaline Dion. What you just said about the jacket. How would you say jacket without Googling? And how would you say pretty? How, how would you say your jacket is really pretty? Ocho, 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 ocho. <laughs> Gracias. Hola. <laughs> uh, Nesrin Amin was saying, thank you for not adding ads. We appreciate that. Oh, it's... Yeah. Gadegavi. Dice, ay sí, me sumo a lo del gouache. Yo estoy pintando el de hoy en gouache porque aún no me metí con el óleo. Y me desespera el gouache que se reactiva con cada pincelada. <risa> eh, entonces añada tip, eh, Gaby, tip. Eh, eso, es, eso es porque está poniéndole la misma cantidad de agua uh -huh. a los, las pinceladas subsecuentes. Entonces, uh -huh. lo que tenemos que hacer, Gaby, es echarle cada vez un poquitico más de pintura y cada vez un poquito menos de agua. Uh -huh. De y más agua a menos agua. Problema solucionado, Gaby. Eleazar M uh -huh. dice, con el paso del tiempo las ciudades pueden ser pequeñas, ¿no? Chile ha de estar a gusto con la compra y si el acento argentino de Nicolás es bueno. Muy bueno, Che. Muy bueno, Che. Nicolás, muy bueno, Che. Gracias. Eh, Gracias. Camila Ogorman dice, porque Nico dijo pequeña y los argentinos Chiqui. usamos ah, chiquito, chiquita. Chiquita. No recuerdo el contexto de la aclaración. Chiquita, chiquita. O sea, chiquitita. No, desde chiquita y no desde pequeña. Sí, puedes decir chiquitita. Chiquitita. 
Mm. Cierto. De amor. Peque... Pero no, no dicen pequeño. O Gorman, nunca. No hay ningún escenario en donde se pueda decir pequeño. Mm, Ani dice, hola Dani, Nicolás y Chili, saludos desde Tijuana. Hola Ani, saludos acá de Chili. Qué lindo, de la Tijuana. Eh, Asif dice, Asif. was saying, okay, but I actually effing laughed so hard at that. Tienes, sí. senti ¿tienes sentido. What? To what? No, Just... Linda, estás moderando lo peor. Ay. Lo peor to... eh, que te que... he visto moderar. No, lo voy a decir. Modérate. No, y tengo que decir esto. Cuando hacíamos los visual correspondence, uh -huh. tú moderabas terrible. Terrible, o sea. Oye, no seas juzgona. <risa> Qué artera, cuando, oye. cuando eras tú el que tenías que moderar, era terrible. O sea, yo te hablaba, te desconectabas de lo que te estaba diciendo por leer, luego leías un comentario como a destiempo de otro, te saltabas otro, no uh -huh. leías el usuario, leías mal uh -huh. el usuario, leías mal el comentario. Nunca leo los usuarios. No, terrible. Terrible. ¿Cierto, Chili? Horrible, Nicolás, de moderador. Siento que respeta mi esfuerzo. No, pero... Mi desempeño. Supra Team Chaudhry was saying, if not on live, then uh -huh. just try to make some start to finish time lapse of plein air paintings. Okay. We would like ¿no? to Pero see your bien. plein air paintings. Bueno, gracias. Thank you. But I mean, the good. I mean, I think it's interesting that nowadays, yeah, we're not just like content. Well, well not we, because I, I have to say I am with like seeing paintings. The like the resulting paintings, but it's interesting how no. social media makes no, people. No, quieren más. Quieren, quieren es. Nicolás, they don't, they don't speak in Spanish. Quieren más. Uh, but yeah. Mm. I'll give it a shot. If I have the chance to do it, I'll, I promise I'll give it a shot. Una bonita manera de decir nunca. <laughs> Eh, Camila Ogorman. Ogorman. Was saying, yes, they definitely look like Tom. You revised Tom. Tom? Tom. You revised Tom. Mm. Eh, Rosalind was saying, ha ha ha, muy bonita. That's it. And I'd point. LOL. Oh, so you, so ah. you don't know the word for jacket. It's ah, well, pointing. Chaqueta. En español Chaqueta. También, ¿no? Chaqueta o sí. Sí, no sé. No, no sé. Chaque. Estoy pensando. Pues nos pueden decir, Sergi, ¿cómo se dice una chaqueta? Nesca dice o chamarra. Chamarra o chamarra. Chamarra. En Tijuana. Chompa. Mm. No sé. A ver. Uy. ¿Qué? No sé, la imagen se puso ¿Qué hice? un segundo. No, no, no. Curioso. Sergi Arts dice, me enamoré instantáneamente del diseño que hicieron del traje negro. Si todo va bien, lo mismo. Lo mismo, Santa Claus deja un PS5 este año en Navidad. Jejeje. Uf. Y un muñequito mordiéndose los, las uñas. Muy bien, muy bien. Sí, el, el traje de simbiote está re chévere. Eh, Gade Gaby dice gracias y un brazo mostrando músculo. Camila Ogorman dice sí, usamos pequeño pero más formal. Mm. Y dice también Camila, los españoles le dicen cazadora y wow. los argentos campera. La campera. ¿Cazadora? Mm. Sí, sí, había oído. Yo nunca. Sí, sí, sí. Carla Anglada was saying sweet chili time. Yes. Sweet chili to time. Mm, maybe mm -hmm. tomorrow's mm -hmm. the day that... Uh, maybe tomorrow's the last maybe day... Maybe tomorrow. ...of her uh, onesie. Mm. Post-surgery onesie. Ajá. Faja. Fajira. 
Yeah. Fajita con chili. Yeah, good enough to eat. Just like a little bite size. Yeah. I would say. So how's it going? Me? Yeah. Good. Always good. No, not really. I always I Um, you've seen me when I say like, do I say like if it's not going good, do I do I go like, I don't know. I forget how I get yes. when I get frustrated. Oh, when you're very frustrated, you're like, ah, 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 all the time. Ah, is it like, like ah, oh, como asociación de fútbol argentino? No. You're like, ah, oh, oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus, me. Jesus, fuck. Oh, me, yeah, ah. Oh. You're like that, so. Okay. I think you're not stressed to that point, or? No. Um, no, no, no. No, there was a, a, I felt a little saddened when I missed, when I just say, said goodbye to the drawing at the beginning, but, um, uh, but no, I, I was, I knew that I had to say goodbye to it. So, you know, one for the other. Unas por otras, como diría Rosalind I like. I don't know why, but I feel uh -huh. like in this painting, yeah, this Tom can be a football player. Um, who would he look like? I don't know if he looks like. No, I'm not talking about one football player. No, no, no. But I'm trying to like find like. So um, it's Tom, the football player. Yeah, but I'm trying to see if I can find like the the uh, equivalent. Yeah, the equivalent. Mm. Yeah. I could have gone broader with the schnozola. Carl Anglado saying, I love his intense gaze. Yeah. He has that, um, he has the gaze of a eight foot five man, so. Yeah, I was missing it a little bit when I started. Mm, the drawing. Uh, and I think I I was, um, was trying, not desperately, but I was trying not to lose it, like quietly trying not to lose it, which is not great, not, not a good thing to do, especially after everything that I had said. Um, So, so that was frustrating me a little bit, I feel. And now I'm I'm less frustrated, but but um. But just finding my way, finding my way. Yeah, he could be like um former boxer or something or no football no? player. Yeah, you're going with football player. Yeah, I mean I think it would be this painting, would be. Like at the beginning of the match, yeah, you show like the poses of the photos of the players that are gonna be oh, in the okay, starting okay. eleven. Okay, okay. This could be one, or like the one that they print for the uh, World Cup for album. the album, like yeah. sticker album. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I remember, it was maybe. Like two World Cups ago. Yeah. That my dad created in the office with all of his friends. Okay, this is where the this is going. The stickers of their team. Oh, uh, they, they collaged stickers together? Or what do you mean created? So they created themselves as players oh, of okay, a team. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It was what very was your dad? Cute. What position? He was no. It was the name. I mean, okay, okay. I knew that he had the uh, shirt of Argentina. Oh. And it said Alejo el viejo Ocampo. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, With yeah, nicknames yeah. and everything. Yeah, okay. but it was very cute because they did the shirts in like paint, so <laughs> you could see like the. Super oh, it was probably like, really good then. Yeah, it it was like super, not so straight uh, lines. Yeah, if you're gonna do that. 
like I much rather have horrible Photoshop than just good Photoshop. I think that's why I love that one. Yeah. And I think they all post like in a white like background? wall okay. in the like at work. Yeah. And then someone was like, you know, I'm gonna do the shirts. Oh, that's so I'm good. I'm gonna open paint. I love it. The hardest the hardest they've worked in like that whole year. <laughs> yeah. It was it They was always amazing. told them have some initiative. And I remember my dad gifted me one yeah. of those stickers, uh, La Lamina. And I had it on my phone, uh, like in the case of my no phone. Way. It was so cool. Yeah. And I remember there were a lot of people like, Who is that? And I was like, yeah. Who is my dad? <laughs> As a football player. Yeah. Yeah. So it was great. I'm sad that I did not you store one of those. No, I mean, the. I mean, it was not a great printing job. Oof. I mean. I think they went for like a very cheap printing <laughs> place. I mean, I don't Maybe know. like a, across the corner of the office or something like that. So it was not that good, but it was a sticker. It was not a like a paper with glue but it was an actual sticker but it did peel off very uh fast so sad yeah yeah was i was great. gonna say because i met you and you didn't have that yeah but that was yeah or maybe it was more time ago okay that's why i said i think it was two world cups before so eight years or ago? maybe three Okay, that's that would have been a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Um Greg Mason was Greg. saying Hey Greg. Greg was saying Gregory. I think, I think Tom would make a classic British policeman, old school, tall and author authoritative. Okay. Authoritative? Uh, Authorit authoritative. Authoritative. I think uh, that's how I would say it. I would say authoritative. authoritative. Okay, so, that would yeah, you know, terrible. He would beat you for saying that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, he yeah. Y you would add like um, what are those, Greg? What are those old um, you know the hats called the the police caps like the, you know that you would add a foot to Tom, which pretty much makes him you know Big Ben at that <laughs> point. So. Nunca había visto esa palabra así. Authoritative? Yeah. I mean, I know what it means, but I've never said it out loud, so it sounds weird. Greg was saying helmet. <laughs> okay, that's... I. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Buzzkill. <laughs> I was hoping for something way more specific. Yeah, I thought... Yeah, those yeah, really long like the, ones. Is that just a helmet? The name Come on. Of it. Yeah, it's like Greg, it has cap. to be something cooler. <laughs> they have hat. to have like a cooler name. I think she fell asleep in my arms. Well, she was waiting to see what they were called and when she when she heard helmet, she was like, Okay. Yeah, I'm gone. Yeah, yeah. I'm checking out. That was And you know, Greg was sending a laughing emoji. Camila Ogorman dice Bobbies. Oh, is Bobbies? that what they're called? Is that short for something? That's probably short for something, no? Or there's a reason for that. I'm going to try and Google. Try, because I'm mm -hmm. doing it with my left hand. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bobbies. So. Let me see them. Well, I can't. <laughs> no, but I'll trust you. Poppy, Poppy. But I don't know if you're talking about like the very tall ones yeah, yeah, yeah. that look like as tall as like the chef hats. Because this one is more like a helmet with a 
like a they're shaped like this S yeah so not this one what these are british ones aren't they i'm pretty sure no am i being super Pero no son de, lo, de la guardia real no 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 the police used to have those tall ones maybe, am i maybe. like misremembering so let's see uh, Greg was saying Bobby's is the name of the older policeman. Roslyn was saying right in your palate is Danny holding chili. Where? Wait, what? Do you see it? Or maybe, maybe it was, maybe you were there for a second and now you're gone. Rosalind, see that screenshot? Yeah, we need like Please. a paint. The paint version of it. Yeah. Mm. Carla Anglada was saying, I heard the artist Alistair Adams speak of painting a portrait. Uh, wait, because yeah. it... Speak of painting a portrait for changing faces. I was so moved. It's funny, Odd Nerdrum spoke at this conversation too, but I guess his talk wasn't so memorable to me. Um, but I, I don't know if I quite understood it. So, I heard the artist, Alistair yeah, 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 Adams, I, I, I know them. speak yeah. of painting a portrait for changing faces. Changing faces. Like, like you paint yourself portrait just so, like as if it was a mask? Or I don't know if changing faces is something. A portrait for changing faces. Oh yeah, I feel bad. Look, cause I, I maybe I'm I'm just not getting that part. Could you explain that? Maybe you know, maybe it is as simple as what I'm thinking, but, but um, but maybe I'm missing something. And I, I forgive me but if I. But I think am. maybe it's like a proper name, cause then they were saying it's funny. Odner Drum spoke at this convention too. Oh. But I oh. guess his talk wasn't so memorable. Oh, painting to me. faces, changing faces, what changing faces, yeah. So changing faces is is what the convention is called. That's a particular name for a convention, no? Changing faces. Tintin. Oh. Tintin, as you say. Rosales. Is saying hello, DNC. Love your chilly stories, Danny. I see it, Rosalind. <gasps> And Rosalind was saying, I took a picture. It's amazing. And Robin Sita was saying, I see it still there. Where Robin is Sita it? Robin Sita is saying that she's... Who saw it first? Uh, Rosalind Sita. Okay. You know what she probably saw? What? Nicola. <laughs> <laughs> hmm... Now I want to see it. If you can send it to my Instagram, Rosalind Dion. No way that Robin and, and Rosalind would saw the same thing. No way. No, because also Tintin. What? Saw it. Tintin oh, was Tintin saying, was, was not saying I hello. I see it, Rosalind. Oh, Tintin, you could say Tintin hi first. It. She did say? Way? Way? She said, hello, DNC. Oh, Love okay. your chilly stories, Danny. Okay. And I said, thank you. And they said, I see it, Rosalind. Okay. And Robin Sita no, was also saying, I, mean, I see it. Yeah, but Tintin is like sleep depraved. I have no idea what she's seeing. She's probably tripping like every single day. Rosalind's saying, ha 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 as if was saying Nico's next book will be titled Ocho. 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 Um, let's see. Espérame, espérame, chiringuis. Me acomodo. Tengo que ir por la silla, Coqui. Sí. Ya. Porque, ah, pues mañana, ah, pues cuando ser. salgas, pasas y te la traes. Sí. ¿Te parece? Me parece una buena idea. Coquín. Gracias. Fantástico. No. What? ¿Eso nunca lo hemos dicho acá? No. <risa> Eso lo han dicho entre tú y yo. Ah, no sabía, no sabía. Ay, Nicolás. Ah, bueno, no, no le paren bolas. No le paren bolas. 
Um, so, Catherine Premsky was saying, aren't the tall ones beef eater hats or something like that? What? Okay. I don't know. I've never heard that for the... Uh, for the hats? Yeah. Or are they French? Were they like French police? No. They weren't the French that had the super tall hats. Were they? No. So I'm going to Google beef eater hats. No, it's going to tell me. Beef eater hats. Beef eater hats. The beef eater hats are the like furry ones. Oh, but that's the guard. Yeah. It's like the royal guard. What I was referring to. Yeah. Beef eater? Yeah. Jesus, what are these terms? Maybe I'm totally off about these hats. No, I think you are correct. Cause I know maybe are they not as big as I thought they were? Maybe? No, maybe they are this ones. You can't see it. I can't it. see it. What were they called? Beef uh, eater hats or bobbies? No, the bobbies were the cops from before. Bobby. Cop. Bobby. So Bobby. in this uh, multiverse. Oh, because Tom Sir Robert Peel. Robert Peel, so Bob Peel, why? established force in 1829. Yeah, I already saw the Bobbies. That. I saw that the already. Bobbies. Oh, yeah, they're not as tall as I remembered. I thought they were taller. But yeah, but yeah, those are the ones that I was thinking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at this multiverse, um, Tom would be Bobby, the number eight soccer British, player. Uh, British Bobby. Uh, number eight. Oh, no, that I don't know terrible? what happened there, yeah. Yeah. Hot dog. Oh, Jesus Christ. What uh No, what that was off? terrible. What uh Yeah. No, no, no. No, please, let's not uh, do that. Can I have a um, no, hot let's not dog? No, don't even do that. <laughs> like. Gianmario eh, D'Alessio dice, Nico, ¿cuál es la pintura más Gian grande Mario. que has hecho? Eh, tenía... Como um, eh, tres y picho por tres y picho, como tres treinta por tres cincuenta, una cosa así, algo así. What in the world, Nicolás? What? What did I say? No, no, no. I just had like a sonomas de papa moment right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For with what? So they were saying that it's a beef eater. Yeah. So I had no idea that the gin. That's called beef eater. Oh. It's beef eater. Because uh, Katia was saying they are on beef eater gene label. What? It's like when I learned that mm -hmm. Popeye was Popeye. Mm -hmm. But, uh, and you serve that gin a lot? Yeah. Yeah. And I know the, like, the label of it, but. Yeah, but... Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Katia. This uh, new thing to add to yeah, my but week. Yeah, the but summary of my week. Right, but it's not because of the gin that they're called that. No, no, no. It's just that I thought it was like a, like a name. I didn't realize it was beef eater gin. Okay. Like referring to those cards. Mm -hmm. I just thought it was like, a, I don't know, a last name or something like mm, Beefeater. A last name? Beef Mary Beefeater. Beef I'm a vegetarian, now that you are asking. Thank you. Um, Camila Ogorman was saying, Beefeater is something of the tower, I think. Did you Google it? No. From the tower? Yeah, London Tower. Pues sí, pero... Um... Mm. So Roslyn was saying What was she saying? Uh that they sent the photo. They were saying, look at the second one first to see. Look at the second one first to okay. see if you can see it. I outlined the second picture kinda. Okay, you could have sent the second one first if you wanted her to see it first. 
Let's see. Okay, I kind of see it. Okay, I don't know if not, you would... You're not wholly convinced. No, no, no. I don't know if you would understand it. That's what I was going to say. Because you were not seeing how I was holding Chile. Okay, but let me see. What? No. This is the image. Okay. And this is the outline. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, maybe. No, but I get it. Because I was holding her here. Yeah, you're just being nice. No. Yeah, you're just being nice. I mean, I see Chile super clear there. Mm -hmm, right here. The me part is more abstract. This, is, this, but this would be you. This would be Chile. <laughs> Gracias. Mm. Um, oh, so Catherine was saying, I googled and they're called bear skin hats. But I guess that... That sounds like the furry ones, no? Right, right. Uh, Carla Anglada was saying, changing faces, painting portraits of people that have a disfigurement or scar oh. that may or not be represented in portraiture. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. No, I, I didn't know about this initiative, so... No, me neither. Mm. Oh, could you describe it again? Could Changing you? faces, yeah. painting portraits of people that have a disfigurement or scar that may not be represented in portraiture. Okay. Mm. Gade Gavi dice, Ay, hablando de libros, ayer vi que Camila mostró uno pequeño con tapa lisa. No sé si es muy viejo. No lo vi en la web tampoco el nuevo. No hay más, ¿no? No, no, esos han sido eh, campañas de crowdfunding. No sé qué. Uy. Crowd <ríe> crowdfunding. De crowdfunding. Entonces, se imprimía el número de copias de personas que apoyaban el proyecto. Entonces, eh, sí, no, de esos no hay. Eran muy limitados. No hay más. Camila Ogorman dice. Custodian Helmet aparece en Google. Bueno. Seiya was saying, hi, saludos, interesting painting class. Terrible. So, hey, Seiya. Eh, Camila Ogorman was saying, Bifeeder is something to do with the tower. I already read that. Tintin was saying, Nico, Tin -tin. tell us the backstory of the peach painting and the Kami painting. So Ooh. interesting. Um, no, not, not, um, I mean, not that there's much backstory to, to, to just, um, uh, even like we, we were discussing yesterday with Danny that how, how um, strange it is to try and determine what, like what we're going to paint or what is going to be painted or, or, you know, if we are going to be able to, um, have a live video, um, or not and um i i always have like these these um these things that i want to paint but it's almost like they're in the back burner and and i don't know why some others have like a bigger sense of urgency and and they kind of i guess go up the list and those are the ones that i end up painting you know for the sessions um but you know, at times I'm like, oh, I wanted to, I remember I wanted to paint this. And, um, and th th there's, there, the reasons can be as simple as like me thinking that uh, Shahdan paints like incredible peaches and we bought peaches. And then if I see a peach, I'll remember, you know, from, um, uh, who else does like killer pe peaches? Um, Dermot Kelly, maybe. I, I'm going to say Chardin and Dermot Kelly. Uh, those are my two peach, uh, like, God. reference. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. So, so. You say your peach, your peachers, mm, like preachers? My peachers? Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Son of a peacher. 
Well, no. Uh, then you would not be. I know. You were just gonna insult oh, them. Just, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so it was. It was that. It was getting getting back to saying like, oh, you know, I wanted to paint this peach, and and that was it. It's it's really as um as simple as that. And um, Kami being like uh, existentialist, but not existentialist. Um, um, his um, his Sisyphus essay, which is kind of weird but awesome at the same time. I've always uh, I've always loved that figure of Sisyphus, uh, and um, I I think I I I attempted to I've attempted to paint that that figure that is um, through the the expression of the body. Um, uh, being able to convey the the weight that they are um, sort of carrying on their shoulders, I think I've tried to paint that before, um, and b by by before I mean like years ago. Um, I, I I remember one one sort of painting that that for sure I I had that in my mind, mm -hmm. and um, it wasn't it wasn't very effective. I was more concerned with like um, just trying to depict anatomy. And and so yesterday was more of a um, just simplification, you know. Just the body is such a a, a mechanical sort of um, miracle, I would say, that um, it is overwhelming to try to paint or to understand the body and and to then try to paint it uh, and to be able to convey, you know, all the kind of forces that are in play when when um, an effort is is exerted by the body is very difficult it's really really difficult and i think it it grows even more difficult when you try to see every single part of that mechanism of that super complex mechanism so yesterday i was thinking of of just of seeing if i could just do it in in very broad very very broad terms um, so it was fun just to challenge myself to to just have these this very blocky um, depiction of the body, hoping that it could convey weight. So, yeah, but yeah. But in in terms of like subject matter, like they're all there, but um, sometimes they take a little bit to come out. It has to be. I don't know what it is. It's almost like it has to be right so that I can paint it. Like everything just has to feel right so that I can say, okay, I'm going to paint this today. But yeah, well, we were talking with Danny how difficult that is to to sort of, b to believe that that's something that we can plan like super easily. Like not really. I, I just, I'm this type of person that will know what I want to paint like a little bit before I start painting it. So it's very strange. And I think even more now that, we have the live streams because yeah. with the edited videos, we had like a theme. So it was like yeah. we had to like pl plan ahead. Yes. Ahead of time a little bit more. But a I find it. A little bit more. Let's say. A little bit. That's why yeah. I said a little bit. But I think in like the way that we're streaming now, it's way harder for you because as you were saying, you can have like a ton of things you want to paint but that has happened to me like i have a ton of things but it's like which one i want like i want to do today yeah. and i don't know until i like sit down and start something yeah so yeah marcelo peralta was saying there's a profile face of a cat looking to the left in the bottom left dark spot in the palette or is that chili <laughs> oh, that one I see. Oh, and I have to say that one I see. Look, it's right here, and it just curls down <laughs> to the bottom. That one, that one, I totally agree with. Um, I was gonna say that I was doing something. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say what, but I was doing something, and I had to do like a little outline of Chili's sketch. Like uh, Chili's profile, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Chili's sketch. What am What am I talking about? I don't know. And I told you, like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> well, don't talk I to me did, like that. I just did a cat. 
Yeah, she's very she's very cat like. She's very feline. Yeah. You know, for a non cat person like myself, which it's totally fine. Don't worry, it's fine. Um uh it's so funny that she a hundred percent is is so cat like. She's perfect. Um Rosalind was saying stop ha 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 and as if was saying if an eight doesn't feature in this painting by the end of it I will riot <laughs> oh, where can we do it like um like a Hirschfeld Nina where can we put it hmm. 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 Uh, well I see hmm. one hmm. already hmm. without you hmm. doing hmm. it hmm. so in the little part of the hmm. hair hmm. that white hmm. Nicolas what the <laughs> The, the part of the like hair the that's paper white. paper part that you haven't covered? No? Ahí? No, ahí, mira oh, el ocho. A little bit. Yeah, There's little an bit. eight. A little bit, yeah. No? Subtle. It's subtle. Okay. I think we should. E it should either be... Okay. No, but it's good. What did you say? Itchy dee dee dee. <laughs> I think it should be subtle or um, super obvious. Hmm... Marcelo Peralta was saying, in my head, I heard a CrossFit coach advice, be fitter. To be fit is not good enough. Oh, be fitter. Be okay. Fitter. Be best. Be <laughs> best. Uh, Tintin was saying, how many paintings do you average in a day? How's oh, your hand? No, no. I, I would say, I mean, roughly eight. <laughs> oh, when eight as an average, so yeah. it can go from one to yeah, sixteen, from like eight to eight ish, maybe. <laughs> um. So no, in a day, no. No, no. I mean that the twelve hour, the twenty four hour a day, uh, twenty four hour session. We did twelve, but that was a one time. Yeah, I don't know if. Do you think I could do more than no. 12? No, you should not do another this year? 24 hour. When no. the 24 hour comes back? No. We're back, baby. No. Uh, We should be back. We should do it again. No. There's so many people that weren't part of it. You know, we could do a talk, 24 hour talk. Oh, come on. That's like. that. That one is not hard for me, sadly. Talk and paint. But like, talk. I talk one I mean, painting and talk. We talked a lot. And a we ton. could pause in camera. No. We could I mean with you. Who who knows if my hands would be worse or better? You know, this time. Mm. Carla was saying yes for Ocho. Rosalind was saying, I see it, Danny. Catherine. I think it's right here. Oh, it's uh, gone. Oh, my God. Of course. What an asshole. Agua fiestas. <laughs> Water party. Catherine Peremsky was saying, like the Sesame Street sketch where the guy paints an eight on the guy in a swimming pool's head. That one is escaping me. Me too. Yeah. I wish I was better at my Sesame Street lore. But I don't know if I know that one. Gade Gabi dice, ocho. Y una cara riéndose. Rosalind was saying, ha, 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 Nico for the win. Catherine was saying, I can say I learned a new Spanish word this evening. Ocho. At least one, that yeah. That makes two words already. The other one is cuchillo. <laughs> oh. Oh, so it's OPO classes. They're, I mean. They're great. They're going great, Catherine. Yeah. You can ask for eight knives at a store. Yeah. Mm. Salmon Kutcher was saying, hello, everyone. Hey, Salmon, long time no see. How are you? Uh, Asif was saying, this is my new Dora. <laughs> Catherine was saying, we're making progress. I mean, yes. From zero words to two that you can't really use in a day-to-day -day conversation? Not really, no. Only if you go to lunch 
with uh, Roslyn to the same place always? Ocho, no te lo number lleves. Eight? Oh, cuchillo, cuchillo. Uh, to slice the... Cuchillo, cuchillo. <laughs> that's actually so good. That was terrible. No, that's so good. Oh, chili, what the hell? Chili pepper? Chilanka. Chili pepper, chile? She just wants to be a part of it. Mmm, cuchili, cuchili. Um, as Safe was saying, if you go to lunch with a group of eight year olds, so that would be when you're cuchillo, cuchillo, it'd be a good choice to go lunch. Cuchillo, cuchillo. Mm, Sam and Kutcher was saying, I'm okay, thank you for asking. I hope you guys are okay too. We are. Yeah. We are great. We're doing great. Yeah. Ocho gracias. Ocho gracias. A todos. As it was saying, now I have to see that as a painting. Cuchili. The chili and cuchillo hybrid. Oof. I thought it was like cute chili. Easier than cuchillo and chili. Yeah. <laughs> when we say kill chili, kill. Yeah. And she barks. Her bark is sharp as a blade. So. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Mm. I I don't know why. I think it's funny cuz I've seen little dogs that yeah. bark very like soft uh -huh. in the park. Yeah. And I'm always like, "Oh no. This one has lungs for Yeah, for her yapping." Uh, yeah. She's a yapper. No. She does yap. I mean, it's okay. But that's what she does. There's like no question about it. No. No, it's okay. I mean, I don't love her less. We are malcriating here, so. But she she good. does yap a little more than I thought she would. Mm. Inakusa was saying, "Going to see you in Sao Paulo soon." Oh, so excited! Oh, that's so good. Obrigado. Ooh, so that's cool. awesome. Hope to not disappoint. Um. See. Carla Angla was saying, would you say dulce chili or is that way off? No, you could say that. Because Carla always says sweet chili, so. Uh, yeah, you could say that. Sounds a little old. School. Dulce chili. Tan dulce. La dulce chili. That sounds more. More like she was working at a soap opera or something. El chili dulce, si no. Mario León dice, ¿Cómo van? Hace rato no los veía en vivo. Saludos desde el trabajo. Hola, Mario. ¿Qué tal? León Bonilla. ¿Cómo va Mario León? Se dedica a... Mario ahora está en otros países o en un concierto. O sí. en un concierto en otros países. <risa> Pero ya... Ya no hay... Ya no hay otra opción con Mario. Hmm. Tintin was saying, and have some cochinillo. Oh. <laughs> um, see. Rosalind was saying, I just finished my painting and I see a face in the sky. It's catching. <laughs> Carla was saying, oh, because they were talking with Salmon. Okay. So they were saying that they're good. So you think you're going to hide an Ocho? Or? I don't know. Or maybe something with the title, maybe. Maybe with the title. 
I think Bobby number eight, Bobby the number eight is not a bad one, but. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> that's like the worst. Mm. See, even Chili's like, no, nah. no, nah, Danny. Carla was saying, wow, oh, there's oh. such force and energy in this portrait. Thank you, Carlita. So something having an eight for the title? I think we could use some help. Maybe someone... Oh, she's, she's hearing a dog Another that's like so barking. far away. No, it's not that far. It's there. No. Yeah. No, I heard it like way over there. Creo que lo veo. Luis Fernando Bernal dice, hola, me dormí la siesta oyéndolos. Gracias. ¿En qué van? <risa> no, aquí eh, tratando de dormirlo, Luis Fernando. Sí, acá ya Vuelva, se vuelva, <risa> me vuelva a la cama, tranquilo. No hay afán. No hay ningún afán. Recuéstese tranquilo. Mire el celular un momentico. Y déjenos arrullarlo. Ya, Uy, sí. cómo pesan esos ojos. Tranquilo. Uh, so, suggestions for the name. As if was saying he ate. Get it? Oh, Jesus ate. Christ. Okay, but we, we're starting rock bottom, so. Camila Ogorman was saying Sir ate. Oh, my God. Sir ate. So, no, so maybe not. Maybe let's uh, leave it like that. Yeah. Let's leave it. Roslyn was saying, isn't Tom tall? Maybe six, eight? Oh, eight foot. <laughs> um, and Camila Ogerman was saying, sir, eight, because he was invited to the coronation. Oh, and oh yeah. He, emoji. Well, was he? He, he was, um, they gave him like a medal or something for, for uh, what he did for the, uh, during the pandemic. Uh so, Sir A well would deserved. not be that, that uh, off. Well, I don't know if I, I don't know if you could put a Sir there if he if he's not quite a Sir. He hasn't been knighted. As he was saying, yeah, it can get better. It can only get better from here. <laughs> and Dana was saying, oh, rock bottom can always get worse. <laughs> and as he was saying, Tom eight o, tomato. Oh Jesus! Oh yeah, it got Tom worse. Eight. Oh. Yeah, it got worse. Um, Salmon Kutcher was saying that guy is looking at my soul. I think he wants to fight me. To me, it is before a bar fight. <laughs> I would never think that Tom would be a fighter, like uh. a like a person that would start a fight in a bar. I don't know. I think he's. No, Very he looks kind. so gentle. Yes. Yeah. So Rosalind was saying T eight M, as in like Tom, but with instead of an O an eight. Yeah, this wasn't like a good idea no. at all. And I mean, I don't know what to think about the judgment uh -huh. of our uh, audience because. As if was saying, ooh, Rosalind, I think that's jackpot. Oh okay, never mind. Yeah, no. And Rosalind was saying, thank you, thank you. Oh, my God, and she's <laughs> taking credit for that. No, my God. <laughs> um, yeah. Come on, we got to do better than that. Mm. So I have one in my head. Okay. So it can get worse than that so go ahead no no no. i'm not gonna share it i'm not gonna share <laughs> it. i'll share it if i if if i don't think uh any of the other ones and you guys are welcome to not like it uh, but if if the other ones don't don't make it don't make me change my mind i'm going for that one and you'll know it's the one that i'm going for because that's what i'm going to call the painting so when you see it in the uh or paintedlives.com. Camila Ogorman was saying, yes, Rosaline. So they liked Rosaline's Tom oh P8M suggestion. 
And Catherine was saying Tom's portrait eight. Like Ooh. portrait, but eight instead of eight. Portrait eight. Jesus. That's Christ. not bad. As if was saying, oh, Catherine, portrait of Tom. Portrait eight of Tom. I think that's not bad. Portrait of Tom. Good one. And Rosalind was saying, oh, that's so good. Oh, my God. What the fuck is going on? I ate all of them. I ate it so much. You're just taking the joke that was already said. Because I don't know if you remember. What, using eight? Eight. A-T-E as in eight, eating no, as but in I, eight numbers. I ate them all. I hate them. So uh, mine was H -A -T -E. No, so you, your was so bad that I had... I thought you were saying eight. As well, in that's a good you sign. If you, if you don't like them? it, I think it's a good sign, you know, how things are going. Mm. Sam and Kutcher was saying, uh, two is looking at me. Tom is looking at me like he knows something. My first reaction is to fight. That's a joke. I'm not a violent person. I'll call it Tom to my Jerry. Oh, my God. Uh, Rosalind was saying, you guys are so good with the suggestions, I guess. And as he was saying, thank you, Danny, join the revolution. And Camila was saying, I like Catherine's. Me too. Portrait of Tom or Tom's portrait. It's a good one. It's not bad. I don't Porter, number eight, portrait. Oh, see, I don't know what's worse, the title or you explaining it to me <laughs> every single time. No, I'm trying to sell it's it portrait? to you. Portrait? Because it's not portrait, Nicolas. <laughs> it's not portrait. It's portrait, portrait number eight. Portrait. Portrait. <laughs> Carla Anglada was saying gentle giant. But where's the eight in that, Carla? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -mm. Catherine was sending a laughing emoji. Rosalind was saying, I like Catherine's or as if. Camila was saying, what's yours, Nico? No, no, you'll see it. I mean, it's winning. In my brain, it's still winning. It's a mix of, uh, it's, not, it's, it's not a pun. So it'll be one of the sad times that it's not a pun. Mm, Salmon Kutcher was saying, Nicolas will drop the painting if we manage to make a worse suggestion. <laughs> mm, it's not a pun, the one you're thinking no. about? No. We don't do tons of puns, I feel. Lasagna For cadaver. Lasagna cadaver is not a pun. Eh... Although you FBP? know why I, you know why I thought Fuzzy it was black Cadaver? poodle. What is you know f like what you said in the morning with the, with the chili thing like oh what does this sound like to you? Mm -hmm. What does lasagna cadaver sound to you? Something in Spanish or in English? It it, it could be any language actually. Lasagna? No no no. Just th think of it like sound. It's more of sounding like something, but, and that's the reason I titled that that way too. Mm, I don't know. Like abra cadabra. Oh, I thought lasagna cadabra. Lasagna cadabra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, yeah. but it's a little bit, um, far. No, no, no. But that's why I liked it, like it, phonetically, I guess. Or. Oh, and today you were saying, Danny, no one does that. When I was asking you I don't how talk that. Like that. How that sound? I usually talk at a higher pitch. Mm. Catherine was saying Panini Tom because of the album, I guess. Mm -hmm. But it sounds weird. Panini Tom. <laughs> he <laughs> loves his paninis. <laughs> uh, Carla was saying introspection. Carla, where's the aid? <laughs> Carla, could you? I think they need you outside for like 10 minutes. <laughs> Ten minutes. 
Katia was saying, oh my God, LOL, this discussion is gold, especially Nicolas getting mad about it. <laughs> Sam and Kutcher was saying, infinite, infinite gaze. Oh my God. <laughs> Camila Ogorman was saying, magician. Camila, where's the eight? <laughs> Camila, porque dije abra cadabra, que era una conversación totalmente aparte. Distinta. ¿Y ahora le metiste mago al asunto? No, joda. Eh, I love that Carla was saying introspection and Salmon was like, Carla, interesting and a happy face. <risa> Carla, ¿sabes qué? Muy interesante. Mi amor, aporte. que Carla hable de español. Estaba practicando al comienzo de la... Mike Richens was saying, Oh my God, it's the first time I've dropped in for a while and it is an eight debate. <laughs> eight debate. Oh, fuck me. That was no. a good one, Mike. Welcome. Mike, get out of here. You are our people. Mike, you can leave now. Thank you. Dana was saying, Nicolás is becoming very irate. Oh my God, irate, but I guess... Bueno, irate... You rate as he was saying, yes, Mike. <laughs> Rosalind was saying, ha, 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 odd shock. Rebate. Rebate, well. Mm. Catherine was saying, Nicolas hates oh, fuck. all of your suggestions. That comment, too. And Carla was saying, the great debater. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> no. Camila Ogorman dice, claro, apenas mandé el comentario, me dije, qué disparate. <laughs> Roslyn was saying, Mike, ha, ha, ha. And Salmon was saying, LOL. Además, Camila con números, la bruja del 69. <laughs> ya no, acordé, no ya sabe acordé, qué esperar. Me acordé. Me acordé. Roslyn was saying, you rebate. Roslyn, he just said that. <laughs> oh, my God, see? That's true. No, ya sé que era la chilladera. ¿Sí? La hora. Es que van a ser las cinco y yo la saco. La ah. Hora. Pero de pronto ahí está haciendo. Dana was saying LMAO, oh. Roslyn, <laughs> and Camila Ogerman was saying Eight Chiso. Eight Chiso. <laughs> Roslyn was saying rebate on my joke. Rebate on my joke. <laughs> I didn't get what it. What is that? Reb eight. <laughs> rebate on my joke. Roslyn, what, what <laughs> language is that? <laughs> no, she's just adding eight to words. Yeah, but that's not how no, it but works. Camila Ogerman was saying, yes, Rosaline. What? Rebate on my joke? Rebocho on my joke? Rebocho? <laughs> <laughs> Catherine was saying, it's getting late. Mm. L and number eight. Late. Now you're just looking for any <laughs> word. Carla Angla was saying, look at me. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Rosalind was saying, rebate. ¿Qué es rebate? Rebate se escribe. I don't know. You know, I don't know that word. No, I don't know that either. Suddenly, Rosalind got, got a little too intelligent for, yeah. uh, for us. Yeah. 
Simon Kutcher was saying, call it Steam B8. The B8 looks like the face of Nicolas hearing our suggestions, and it looks like two people standing next to each other. What? <laughs> like we're just, I don't know where people we are. People lost it. Yeah. yeah. People lost it. Catherine was saying, rebate is when you get money back. Oh. Oh, rebate. Okay. Oh, uh, now you know. No, oh, well, yeah, it makes a difference. Now you know. I think you did not know. It makes a difference. Know. I hate to say it, but it makes a difference. Rosalind was saying, it's a return on my joke. I suck. No, Nicolas, you're just... I know you did not know the meaning. No, rebate, of course. But I said rebate. No, you said rebate. Because it's eight, yeah. number eight. Rebate, rebate. Yeah, and then I like said it's rebate. rebate. And you had no idea what I was trying to say. Yeah, well, Java Chile, Calma Chile. Chile has like a biological clock. Uh, Jesus yeah. Jesus Christ. Chilangas. Dana was saying, you are inundated oh, that's... with great suggestions. Oh, with that horrible ones, one. I was going to say. That was a good one. Camila Ogerman was saying, Danny, I'm pronouncing Roselin <laughs> with triple R. Roselin. <laughs> Sam and Kutcher was saying, B8 like a happy face. Flood your phone, you will see it. Well, I mean, I don't, I'm not on a phone, but. No, ahorita no vamos a salir. No, no, uh, but I think I'm almost not not because I'm rushing, but because Rosalind was saying, "Come on, we're old M8, M8s, mates, M8, mates, 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 yeah." Catherine was not, I'm, sending I'm not your mate. laughing emojis. Camila was sending laughing emojis. Yeah. Camila I'm, was saying, "I like it." I'm nobody's mate here. Sorry. Camila was saying, "Mates." Yeah. No, but I think, I mean, I have to say that we've had stretch on jokes. Yeah. This one was and great. And this? And this, yeah. But this one was great. Great? Yeah. Really? That's great. The one, that's <laughs> the one. <laughs> this one was great. Yeah. Now I'm thinking about something with eight. Oh, my God. I'm trying to finish so quickly. Just don't want to be a part of this anymore. It's your fault because you stayed. Oh stayed my God. Overstayed. Painting You're welcome. For so long, so. Rosalind was saying, Ocho wins. <laughs> and Catherine was saying, Yeah, great. The great Tom. Great Tom. Mm. So can you share yours? No. Okay. Boo. No, because now, uh, now everyone's against me. But because you created an expectation. I didn't. I didn't create an expectation. You were like, you know, I have one. And I, I, apparently, I, think it's I was really the only good, one with but, like uh, some critical sense. No, you were like, I think it's really good, and uh, I never said mine was better. I think I'm gonna use that. Uh, yeah. Bye, everyone. Rosalind was saying, I'm trying to finish so quickly is my favorite. LOL. <laughs> Gade Gabi dice, qué espectacular está quedando. Cómo saber cuándo está listo. Ya, ¿No? en un minuto, porque ya no me aguanto más la conversación, Gabi. <laughs> Ni Chili se aguanta. El... Chili tampoco. Chili está mamada. Chili está... Que se está huevonada. Mm. Sam and Kutcher was saying, LOL, great, Tom. Gade Gabi manda... Emojis riéndose. <laughs> And Sam and Kutcher was saying, I meant flip, not plop. 
Well, autocorrect is hating me right now. Oh, no. And then they were saying, flood. Wow, my new phone hate me. Oh, no. Camila Ogorman was saying, I don't think Nikos would oh, dude. Oh, bait oh, ours. No. Beat? Oh, my God. Camila, that was so even, that was bad. The eight? <laughs> okay. Yeah, because at, at least I would say like, okay, every single time beat, it's eight, but eight, this was eight. Beat. And now you turned it into eat. <laughs> yeah. Ay, what Camila. the hell? <laughs> Camila was saying really bad. Yeah. I mean, that's, I think that's what Dana was referring to when they were saying that we can hit lower than rock bottom. Because that was not even an eight, Camila. Camila was saying, maybe Australians pronounce it like that. Eat. B a bait? No. Beat? No. I mean, I'm going to bait you. I'm going to bait you at soccer. Would you know what I'm talking about? No. But I'm choosing not to bait you. Australians uh, would not get that either. Abiola de Cambio saying, wait, what is this joke about? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that I'll like. That I actually <laughs> like. Uh, Carla Anglada was saying, reflection. Again, <laughs> Carla. <laughs> Carla lost it again. You know what, Carla? We're going to call it reflection. <laughs> Hi, Carla. You know what, Carla? I think it's a perfect, it's perfect. We're going to call it reflection. <laughs> yes. Ay. Camila Ogerman was saying, I'm kidding, and some laughing emojis. Sam and Kutcher was saying, thank you. <laughs> Roslyn was saying, well, I'm waiting for Nico's title with bated oh, breath. Oh, bated breath. Okay. Sam and Kutcher was saying, Carla for the win. Yeah, Carla won, actually. Yeah. yeah. And I'm not saying Everyone that just trying, to piss yeah. people off. Trying to think about very intelligent things with AIDS. Yeah. And Carla said, reflection. Yeah. I love that. Reflection. <laughs> Rosalind was saying, reflection, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Camila Ogerman was saying, he's scared. And some laughing emojis. And Roslyn was saying, Carla, and like a dancing emoji. <laughs> you know, she was thinking outside the box. Yeah. Everyone was zigging. She was zagging. Yeah. Okay. I think we're done. I think we're done. I like it. I like it, too. I like it, too. I mean, I hated the session today, <laughs> but I think the painting is nice. One of the worst OPL sessions ever, I would or say. Or the best. I no, mean, no. we ended in reflection. Yeah, so we got us. Magic. The, very poetic. We, you know, yeah. if it got us. Magician, if we needed, as Camila said. Yeah, <laughs> if we needed uh, uh, to trudge through all that you know, crap, just to get to reflection, it was worth it. Yeah. It was worth it. Carla so. was saying, I love this portrait. And Rosalind was saying, I love eight. <laughs> I love eight. Um, yeah, I hate everyone in, in here. Probably everyone. Every single person. Gade Gade dice, increíble quedó. Me gustó. Mocho. M ocho. Mocho. Mocho. <laughs> <laughs> Me gustó mucho. 
Ay, yo llegué ahí antes, pero me gustó, muy bien, me gustó mucho. Muy, muy bien, bien, perfecto. Gaby. Ya juntamos los dos idiomas, ya hicimos la, la tarea. Los dos idiomas y luego Reflection. Y o Carla. Sea... Aquí se habla español, inglés y Carla. O sea, con eso estamos perfectos. Um, yeah, so, uh, worst session ever. So, thank you all. We hit a new low. And I think it goes to show that, I mean, I can paint through anything. Yeah. Yeah. You can. I actually. think I can. I think I can. Yeah. So, uh... So, we need more of this type of conversation. No. Well, we don't need more of this, but, uh... But yeah, that was that was uh that was very cool. Rosalind was saying, oh, because Carla was saying ocho forever, mm -hmm. forever, forever, and Rosalind was saying forever and ever. I never saw Nick paint so fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two hour session today. She want to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I mean. Uh no, no, that was good. That was uh that was cool. And um, let's talk about the painting for like two seconds before the rails. Um, no, it was, it was nice because there was a, a, for sure, a more structured drawing underneath that could have uh, been the base for, um, for like, even like an easier painting to paint. But, um, I, I didn't want to do that. I, I much rather wanted to, to make it about like, you know, sort of my painting, which is usually just like, you know, blobs of, you know, mid-tones and, and, uh, you know, very close uh, value range and just changes of hues. Um, but it was uh, it was very nice. There's moments in there that are that are um, super super nice that I that I actually <laughs> really enjoyed. So um, I'm sorry, I'm just. I know I can't say. No, anything I'm thinking right now. about me gusto mucho. Mucho, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 it's yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, so that's it. Yeah. yeah, I don't think we can end today gracefully. No. I think we just have to like... Uh, say goodbye. Yeah, say goodbye. So, thank you. 